What's up everyone? Andre here along with Tress and Tom and possibly Joey. He locked himself out of his house apparently, so hopefully it gets back in. Time for the Game Awards. The Game Awards 2023 are about to start in seven minutes, uh, at least for the pre-show. Half an hour or so until the full show at the top of the hour. How are we doing, chat? Are you guys excited? Tress, Tom, are you hyped? Where, where, how are we feeling right now? I'm pretty excited, honestly. There's a lot of games here that have, or in general, there's been a lot of good games this year, so I'm excited to see where things go with this. For me, I've, you know, I kind of have lower expectations Nintendo-wise, but then I can only be pleasantly delighted later. <laughs> yeah. Seeing what else might be at the show, like uh, hopefully a few nice things. Having, oh yeah, if we're talking announcements, I, I don't have high expectations for this. <laughs> having zero expectations has never let me down. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm also not expecting anything from Nintendo this year, at least anything big at all. But hey, happy to be wrong. Uh, in any case, people are here largely for the awards portion of the Game Awards, right? So, and we have some strong contenders this year with two Nintendo games for Game of the Year, along with, um, you know, with several other heavy hitters, Resident Evil 4 Remake, uh... Uh, what, what, remind me of what else there is. Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3, Alan yes. Spider-Man 2, so. Spider-Man 2. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, that was it. Oh, but, I think that's it. We, I, we covered all six. <laughs> tier, I still feel Tears of the Kingdom and Mario Wonder in that category will, like, eat at each other's boats, making it harder for Tears of the Kingdom. You know, I think that's a valid concern, but I feel like, I, I think of those two, Tears of the Kingdom is going to get most of the votes between yeah. the two games, I feel like. So I don't think Mario Wonder is going to affect it too much. I think Tears of the Kingdom's biggest problem, bigger problem, is Baldur's Gate 3. I feel yes. like that has a really good chance of uh, pulling it out this year. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but uh, I think Jake was mentioning, though, the international appeal of Zelda. And maybe Baldur Baldur's Gate 3 doesn't have that same worldwide appeal because it's, you know... It's not just voting from the U.S. It's voting from all sorts of outlets. So yeah. we'll see if that plays a factor. And Tears of the Kingdom, maybe more people played it back earlier in the year compared to Baldur's Gate 3. That's true. That's true. It's entirely possible. I, I do think, though, like Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate are like the two big contenders for this. Like, I, I do think it's between those two. I have Oh, seen... Alan Wake. We forgot Alan Wake earlier. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm that, that's... That. Yeah. No, yeah, no, it was said. Oh, well, okay, um, I, yeah. I, 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 I do think that Alan Wake 2 is the other one that could take it because in smaller kind of Game of the Year awards that have been going around at different outlets and at different events in the last, like, month, that's been getting some. It's been getting some good attention. So I, I think it's it's worth not ignoring that one. It does stand a good chance. Yeah, we'll see. I, I, I mean, any of them any of them is an option, hence, you know, hence why they're nominated. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Um, is there anything else we're expecting specifically from the show beyond Nintendo announcements that may or may not happen? I believe um, there's a chance we might get a Capcom announcement here tonight. Capcom still has to reveal something. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing. Uh, is it Sega? Chris? I think Sega's announcer is going to have something Sega? here too. Sega, yeah. Sega has some sort of big announcement here, yeah. Now, the thing about that one, apparently it was given to all fighting game creators. So... Uh, likely a fighting game like Virtua Fighter or something. So we'll see if oh, that's true. That'd be pretty cool. It's I think gonna... we're going to see a lot of fighting game presence here tonight, actually. Like, though there's not, in terms of, like, categories, there's not much with that. I do I do think we'll be seeing, like, DLC and updates for, like, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. I think those will both show up. Tekken 8 still on the horizon. I think we'll see something about... Something, something leaked about Tekken recently. I didn't see what. I just saw in name something about that was happening i imagine that means there's an announcement for it here as well so we're yes. gonna get a lot of the fighting games here in terms of advertisements i think i can imagine a uh christmas themed fatality for mortal kombat shoving oh a guy down a chimney but it's like the, the fire at the bottom you know that's hilarious <laughs> uh, matthew in the chat's a sonic 3 movie that will be a surprise i think more than likely we would get or more than that we would get the sonic knuckles tv show tease yeah I do. They were getting the knuckle show, especially because I imagine there's still a lot of production work to go into. Oh, here we go. We finally have a Game Awards stream. So let me bring it up on stream in a second here. They finally have gone live. My countdown's at uh, 246, 245. By Ooh, the way, 243. So very close. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I think. 
uh, Sega seems like they're going to have a big presence, and I think outside of potentially Virtual Fighter, as you said, Tom, I do think we'll see something from the Knuckles show. I think it just, it, I don't know if Idris Elba's actually here, but I know he's nominated for an award for Cyberpunk. So if Idris Elba's actually here, that'd be a great way for him to also then talk about the Knuckles show, because he's heavily involved in that one. And now that we know for sure Sonic Movie 3 is coming out end, like end of next year, Knuckles show has to fit somewhere in there. Yeah. We got some super chats, by the way. Iggy Garcia oh. says, do you think that Jeffers Gemini will get a release date for NSO tonight? Also, I'm guessing the 1080 snowboarding at NSO might be delayed until 2024. Well, I don't know about that part, uh, Iggy, but, you know, I, the thought had occurred to me, what if they did announce a release date here? I don't see it, though. That's not a Game Awards announcement, I feel like. But yeah. you know what? For Nintendo, maybe it is. <laughs> I thought about this, and, you know, it kind of is possible, but considering Jet Force Gemini is already out in a couple territories now, I think they're going to just hold on to it for next week. Yeah. Yeah. I think they'll hold on to it. We got another super chat from uh, Valentine who says, "I hope Bowser will become canon at last, please." <laughs> now that's <laughs> that's a Game Awards announcement right there. <laughs> that that would be huge. Just, that picture would be huge. Miyamoto coming out, and all he says is, "Bowser is now canon." <laughs> in English, in perfect English. Yeah, in perfect yeah. English, exactly. <laughs> Clifford, Lo saw... Clifford Longhead. Just... With sorry, oh, go ahead, Tom. I was just gonna say, you saw how big the Wa Peach news was. Like, it was here's huge. What Wa Peach would look like. That, that would just top it. That would just blow the roof. <laughs> Clever Longhead with the Super Chat says, The stream will be deleted once it's over, right? Wait, our stream? No, we never... I don't think we ever delete streams. So it should just still be there. Unless you mean the Game Awards, but they don't delete them either, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, those streams should be there. Um, Wait, where is the official countdown video? Oh, if you just type... If you just Google the Game Awards, it'll pop up. like Or YouTube the Game Awards, and you'll see the official, official show. Um... I was going to say something else. I yeah. totally forget, though. But, yeah. <laughs> so we have 27 seconds until the pre-show begins. Right on time, actually. Pretty much right on time. So, chat, how is it? It's always good when they aren't late. <laughs> it is nice. Because I don't want I don't want this to run late. <laughs> Three hours is already pushing it. And I don't want to go over that. So, we need a side chat thing to play Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. In the future. <laughs> I actually have Smash Brothers here. If you have your Switch nearby, Tom, we can play it. Look, I actually, I'll put on the... Look, I actually have it ready. See, chat? I've got a Smash Room. I can open up a Smash Room if you want to play Smash. Uh, how is the... Um, it is the fifth anniversary of a Smash 2, by the way. How is the volume, everyone? Are we good? Is the stream oh, good? Please let me know. It's me, Sydney Goodman, here to greet you all at... At what I consider to be my favorite holiday of the season, the 2023 Game Awards. And just like New Year's Eve, our Game Awards opening act is as full of excitement and celebration It's like as New Year's Eve. <laughs> Tonight, the Game Awards will celebrate I know time goes by quickly, but not that quick. Past year, and we've got more than a dozen new game announcements. More than a dozen Plus, new? the old gods of Asgard are here the true from world Alan premiere. Wake 2. They take the stage. For the first time ever, it is truly magical here, live at the Peacock Theater for gaming's biggest night. We are streaming around the world, connecting millions of gamers and fans, and getting you all stoked for our big show. But before that, it's time to get cozy with our very first world premiere oh. of the night. First world premiere. Wait, already? Let's hear it. Wait, so, wait, so they are calling it world premiere <laughs> still, then? Creator who has they're, just, they're just not doing the title cards, the I think. Past here at TGA. But this time, we're going back to the title that started it all for him a decade ago. Here's the first ever look at a beautiful His Brothers remake, remake? Of Brothers, A Tale of yeah, Two yeah, Sons, that was a rumor. originally created by director Sir Joseph, Joseph Ferris. Yep. Uh, Chad, does it sound better now? I turned up as much as I can, if not to play around with a few other settings. Pluto Dragon says a tale of two grandsons. <laughs> Tris, did you ever play the original Brothers at Two? I did not. I did not get a chance to. But I do. I I, I do love games that are like co-op. That are like like meant to be played with somebody else because I love playing games with my partner. So yeah. So I need to play it takes two though. 
nothing but good things have been heard about that one. Brothers. February 28th. I've never heard of this game, actually. No, it's super Incredible, good and how perfect that right after the world premiere of Brothers, we have the award for best family game. Uh, These are the games sure. that bring families okay, together. We're going right into it? Family tear game? Them apart, depending on how dirty you play. And the nominees are Disney Illusion Island. Wow. They're not even Party putting animals. this in the mage. It's it's going to be Mario Wonder, no Sonic question. Superstar. Mario, anyone think otherwise? Games, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I I think this. Maybe is Disney Illusion Island has a chance, but I think it's Mario. And the goes to Super Mario yeah. Brothers yeah, of Wonder. Of if course. They told us who was last though, so we could see if Sonic came. And out. there's that Bowser already. <laughs> oh wow. Thank you so much for this award. This is shared with all the teams at Nintendo that worked on Super Mario Brothers Wonder. In my experience, the team really tried to develop a game that allowed people to work together, to play together, whether it was friends or it was family. And for me, my personal experience is, nothing brings a family together more than trying to rescue an, an empire, a, a kingdom in distress from the evil likes of Bowser. Whether you're playing, it's all you're specific. playing as Elephant Mario, <laughs> um, Peach, Yoshi. Hello, or Chris Abbott. in the chat. This game goes Who to said Wowie Zowie? A wonderful experience. Thank you. Congratulations, Super Mario Brothers Wonder! And now I have a little treat for all of you: three world premieres in Ooh, a row. Three? Okay. What? All right. First up is the next game from Daniel Mullins, the creator of the TGA-nominated independent game, Inscription. Yeah. So, uh, real quick, we got a super chat from Clifford Longhead. It says, doing good, guys. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Doing well. I'm excited to see what we get here. Is it another game that we can't talk about, but just <laughs> because I like it? This looks like, this looks like a VR game. Uh, well, description was kind of that perspective. This is Oculus? Wait, is that oh, our, is that's our arcade? In, is that our arcade? In, yeah. Game set in first person are always easier to turn into VR, I imagine. Oh. Okay, this, I take it back. It's not VR. <laughs> what is this? It's just tantalizing. Yeah. But not, but not titillating? No, it's not quite there yet. <laughs> it's tantalizing. It almost, it almost looks a bit like Zachtronics. Oh, Pro <laughs> ZD. <laughs> ZD. <laughs> it's like a WarioWare almost. Uh, it is making me think of WarioWare actually, with like a bunch of these little minigame things going on here. What? Pony Island two. Yeah, that was Pony Island yeah, one. Okay, that was like un that was unnerving, like legitimately unnerving. <laughs> the music mostly. And Netflix. Okay, no, okay. is this a new one? Interview number three. That's a new one. Yeah, because remember they said three three back to back. Yeah. It's that they they got rid of the title card that says world premiere. Yeah, that was a bad idea in hindsight. Because you want that clear separation, I think. say with Doug Bowser there, maybe it's less of a chance um, if any other Nintendo reps came from Japan to win a game of the year. Ah, oh, that's true. That's a good point. The curse that of the, the rise of the Golden Idol. <laughs> what is this next one? Ooh, I like this art style. It's the uh, Spider-Verse art style, the stop motion. <laughs> And the court in chat says, can we get a Jake Cam live from the show? This Jake is in the yeah. audience right now. Yeah. So we gotta keep an eye out for him. This is the next Finchy game. Finchy published tunic. 
Yeah, Shinji's a good publisher. Yeah, and they make their own games too. I trust I trust games that come out from them to be uh, good quality. Same with Annapurna. Yeah, I'm digging this. this There's a few more indie games throughout the show, too, but it is nice to get some here. Usual, Usual June. June. This is weird, seeing 2025. I would say, this is the second 2025 thing we've already I seen. I this. Reminds me of my high school days. Yeah, that's not anywhere I nearby. Nearly as big as that. <laughs> Grand you Theft Auto these days with your giant monsters and your social media. And speaking of social media, TikTok Live Fest is happening now I don't across know about 50 that plus countries on TikTok. <laughs> Check out the participating gaming creators and don't forget to share all of your favorite gaming moments on TikTok with hashtag gaming on TikTok. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, yeah, I'm definitely but doing there that. is plenty more opening yeah. act after a very important message. Don't skip this cutscene, people. I hope this is oh, a Kyle Boston message. The, the journey it's ended not. here. <laughs> a place of wonder and awe. We breached the cosmic veil and reached a new planet. Yet generations Ooh. later, That's cool. this world remains untamed. Our reunion was foretold. The world so cool. destined to cross. Cool. I'm here for you. I now. just hear reunion and I start thinking of Final Fantasy. <laughs> It was very cinematic. I guess. Do you think it's a just a turn-based RPG or is it real time? No, that looks that looks real time to me. Yeah. That's oh, it's Ark Knights. Okay. Okay, now is this another world premiere or is this an ad? No, these are ads. These aren't okay. these aren't world premieres. So these are normal commercials now. Basically. <laughs> That's why they got rid of the world premiere banner. That's why. They should have commercial premiere. They should. <laughs> right, I'm gonna turn now it. for the world premiere commercial from our Let's turn it down for <laughs> the commercial segment, which is basically the entire show. Just mute the entire show. Uh, apparently, Joey's on his way. He found out how to get back into his house after being locked out, so. He dug a tunnel. That'd be so. I would actually be impressed. That'd be quite the workout. <laughs> so, uh, yes, yeah, so that's what? Three world premieres out of 12 already out of the way? Three or four of them? Is that right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, we got four. Yeah, we've had four world premieres. So we're down to eight? I, I, the rogue I don't know if it's eight in total or if it's at least no that many. Well, they, uh, she, they said, what? 12 brand new games. Were those all brand new games? I think so. Well, no. The first world premiere was a remake of Brothers, I think. But okay, does that not count as a new game, though? <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know how they count. It. I don't know either. Uh, Sylvie, unfortunately, I realized I don't have a good setup to play Smash. Oh, I guess I could if I played on handheld form. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too complicated, Sylvie. So I'm gonna abandon the Smash idea. Sorry. We can talk about how it's just fifth anniversary, though, which is weird. Man, I remember that night when Smash when Smash Ultimate came out five years ago, and uh, right before the game released, like just a few hours before it was officially out, Joker got revealed this first DLC character. That's right, like the first, at the Game Awards. Right, yeah, that, yeah the, like the whole presentation behind that was spectacular. That was so hype. Yeah, such a quick turnaround. It's like, wait, what? This isn't a Persona game. Do you? Is there? A, I, everyone thought it was Persona on Switch or something. Is there a chance Smash Brothers gets any kind of? Uh, announcement or discussion at the Game Awards with it being its five-year anniversary. I'd be scared if it does. Scared? Because of what that would do. Yeah, for what that would do for the community and the, the <laughs> hype cycle and speculation for people. Hey, it's Joey's Joey. here! Joey made it! Day on the I have the worst life, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds pretty intense there, Joey. <laughs> 
I was locked out of my house. It was the worst. Oh my goodness. Well, you my made screen, it. I closed my screen door. I'll, bre I'll keep it brief story. I close my screen door. I take out the trash. My screen door decides, hey, I'm going to lock myself. No. The worst. I had to get my neighbor to smash open the dang lock. Oh, jeez. That was fun. Now I have to buy it. Now I have to go to Home Depot after this and buy a new lock. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez. Yeah. Well. I uh, wish you luck with that. Do you wish him luck with that? Let's talk about Game Awards. So, what are we predicting, y'all? I actually don't have the stream award. open. Let me open that. This time for innovation and accessibility. Uh, well, uh, the first award already happened of uh, Best Family Game. Honestly, Very be first one they did. And Was it Everybody Horse? Are pushing no. <laughs> beyond its current limits. But it was a Nintendo game. created software and Which hardware that Tell make me. it possible Mario for Wonder. people of okay, all cool. abilities to experience the medium of gaming. Very nice. With accessible features right now it's and um, innovations and accessibility, I think. I think that's what she said. Play for everyone. Oh, yeah, it's a very These great award are to just doing put the work, in the pre-show. That should be in the main show. Diablo 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does Motors feel a little uh, offensive to Rush. relegate this to the pre-show. Marvel Spider-Man 2. I just don't feel like any award should be given out during the pre-show specifically. And Street Fighter 6. And the game award goes to. I think Spider Man. Forza Motorsport. Oh, no. oh wow. All right, Forza. Forza. Well, congrats to Forza. You Forza. know what? Never, never, ne never underestimate the power of Forza. Forza is always so like uh, a pretty driving force. All that, all the, ha, 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 I see we did there, Tres. I think we've seen a dramatic shift in the whole industry towards making games more and more accessible. And with this list of amazing nominees, it just really drives that home. Um, at this point, I, I think we've made the most accessible racing game ever playable by people across the mobility and vision spectrum, including totally blind players. But really, the real winners here are the players who have so many great games to play. None of this would have been possible without the amazing teams behind the scenes. Big thank you to our audio team for their tireless effort championing for accessibility. Tireless? Because it's a racing team. game? Big thank you to the UI team, to our studio leadership team, and our accessibility leadership great. team. And last but last least, Brandon Cole for being our uh, accessibility consultant and partner for the last two years. We're really proud of the work that we've been able to do, so thank you very much. No, they, they, they slowly started playing the music. The wrap it up music. Well, she was looking earlier. It's like, can I say something? Congratulations, Forza Motorsport. Are you guys watching Here this on Game YouTube Awards, or Twitch? We believe strongly YouTube right in accessibility okay. and want to celebrate any game that makes it a priority. And our next developer, The Odd Gentleman, believe that by Odd making gentleman. their games and their company accessible and inclusive, they can develop new types of gameplay okay. with stories that everyone can enjoy. They created the following game in a deep collaboration with artists and developers from the deaf community. And we are very excited to reveal it now. This is Harmonium the Musical. What? Harmonium the Musical. All right. Looks like a Pokemon game. Oh my god, it does. But, but better. <laughs> oh, the sign language. premise of this, the idea behind this is actually really interesting. Yeah. It's kind of uh, Kita Takahashi, the, he has his tea pose game. How to explain it, but the, the presentation to this also has like, a little bit of that Disney magic. I don't know how to explain it. it yeah, animation does. totally mm -hmm. felt like this. That might be it. I mean, Netflix games and Xbox Game Pass. Harmonium game. I'll keep an eye on that. That actually sounds interesting. It sounds Honestly, interesting. I don't know how yeah. much better that one wasn't intentional. Get. What happened past the golden age? Platinum? Is this the platinum age of gaming? Also, can I please be paid in platinum? I'd like it direct deposited, please. 
And now I have the honor of announcing the winners for our five esports categories. All five esports the categories in the pre-show. There we go. Oh boy. Thank you. Faker, Zywu, Demon I've heard the name Faker Hydra, before. Ruler, and I found Imperial you, Hive. Faker. And the game award goes to Faker. Called it. <laughs> For best esports coach, the nominees okay, these, are these names are made up. Potter, Zonic, <laughs> well, these are made up names. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're like gamer tags. No, I mean they're not <laughs> real and ultras. <laughs> Potter. Like what was literally For best faker? Event, Come on. Here are the nominees: 2023 League of Legends World Championship, Blast TV Paris Major 2023, Evo 2023. The International Dota 2 Championships 2023. Wait, and the class production Valorant says they're real to me. <laughs> and the game award goes to... That's all that matters. 2023 uh, League of Monica Legends saying platinum, platinum games. Yeah, that was a lot of platinum for best e usage game, there. The nominees are Counter-Strike 2. I hope JD Gaming wins Dota for no 2, reason other than that's a J in the title. PUBG Mobile and Valorant. And the game award goes to... Ah, yes. Valorant. And finally, the nominees for best esports team are Evil Geniuses, Fnatic. Yeah, I've not Gaming heard of any of these esports teams. <laughs> JD Gaming and Team Vitality. And the game award. Not goes that I really to... keep up with esports, but not at all. JD Gaming. Huge congratulations, everyone. I love esports. I'm a huge esports fan, just like my father and his father before him. We Goodmans are a huge esports family, dating all the way back to the mid 1800s. What? But before you can think too hard sure. on that, it's time for another two <laughs> world premieres. Two First world up premieres. First is now. the latest okay. game from a team that won at the Game Awards back in 2017. So I think we can trust them to crush it again. Hmm. This is Windblown. Windblown. They are all asleep. That's how I usually feel during the Game Awards. <laughs> Ooh. What? Okay, that was quite the plot twist. Created dead cells. Okay, yeah. There we go. Love the sound of that. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. This is looking different than I expected. Oh, yeah. Why is it 3D? That's so cool. Yeah, I guess you have three players at once. I'll have you all know that I switched to the Twitch feed because I'm a bit behind, and the Twitch feed's like five seconds, no, like 20 seconds ahead, so I switched back to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I was like talking about a category that you guys were not even on yet, so oh, I heard the yeah. dead silence, so I'm like, okay, I'm switching. I like the animation to this. Like, yeah. I know it's probably like, just for the trailer, but like, it's well done. Oh, it's so violent. Well, even the game, it's the game itself though, being in 3D, it looks pretty darn good. Yeah, it does. I don't want violin in my view. <laughs> Wind blowing. Is that like? Are those wind graphics surrounding the O? What are those? I think so. I think so, yeah. Okay. Whoa, Thumper! Ooh, With Thumper? Thumper? From from the the artist and uh, designer of Thumper. Thumper was sick. Ooh. Yeah, you can see. Uh, this is like Res vibes too. Here, trying so hard to figure out how you play this game. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> you could VR. be moving that little icon around. Is it eye tracking? Can I use my Wii remote? Yeah, that'd be amazing. Well, uh, if it's in VR, you'd be moving around. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're kind of moving around that dragon from the. You know, follows it. Oh, no, it's getting creepy. <laughs> what was it? 2001 Space Baby. Thrasher. <laughs> we love. We love 2001 around here. Yeah, damn right we do.
a 2024 game, not 2025. <laughs> yes, oh, Thrasher, God. in case you didn't know, is from the same artist slash composer that blew our minds back in 2016 with the cult hit Thumper. I'm so excited we've got another oh mind bending game coming from him in 2024. Been that long? Earlier Special than shout that out to switched. Samsung and Samsung Gaming Hub, who, not to brag, are also throwing a These massive some, game awards uh, pretty good party indie announcements so over far. at Samsung's New York City flagship location with typical gamer and Chica. I wish I could be at two places at once, but the last time I tried to clone myself, I sparked a pretty sizable fire in the MIT Experimental Physics Lab. Oops, but we can talk about that later. Let's check out what These Samsung is coming out with now. Starfield, Xbox Game Pass. Wait, are we in an ad now? <laughs> We're in an ad for Game Pass. Oh my god. Third, sorry, sorry, Samsung Gaming Hub. The line, it's so thin. <laughs> I can't okay. tell what's it's ad or not. It's so. It's so weird. I thought she was saying Sam Sung, like this was a person. <laughs> she put like an unnecessary space between you know. Sam and Sung. Well, you that know. was like one odd fellow earlier. It's like, no, it's game code. Oh. My impression is they, they will tell us on stage when we're heading into a world premiere. Hey, Persona 3. Nice. Good for them. Actually, this new. It was Persona 3 Reload, the, the remake. It's out already, isn't it? Or No, that doesn't come out till I think, the start of February. Okay. I thought it was out. Morning. All these game releases, I just can't keep Let's up. Begin. I'm very excited so for this, though. My life. Last one! Go for it! Now that's what no I'm love for about. Persona 1 or 2. Moonwalk. I only ever hear about the games beyond 3. <laughs> yeah. They don't really give those first few much attention at all. <laughs> Probably for a good reason. That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. They only appear during the dark hour. Man, I can't and wait to attack anyone this. who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Persona. Next. Come on! Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? In fact, I don't even really have a good reason to live. For me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. Soon, the end will come. We are not giving up! Chris, what platform was this on originally? This was on me, PS2 originally. This is the what on the And then... And then it came to other platforms. Like, I think the, PS, the PSP version came to other platforms with the Persona 3 Portable. I'm so excited for that game. It's gonna be great. Oh, Persona 5 Royal, Persona 4 Golden, Persona 5. Well, they announced Joker for Smash again on the five-year uh, anniversary. I guess I was just, saying, <laughs> just, a just a reminder that yeah. the rest of those are. Persona I guess I was just a reminder that the rest of those are on that is, I still Game Pass. Game Pass. But enough about me. Make sure to stay tuned as Google and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold oh, 5 are bringing you a spectacular celebration of mobile gaming. Mobile it's going game. to be an epic event, just like this next world premiere. Another world premiere. It's the product okay. of a surprise team up between two like, nominated wait, teams Wait, did tonight. you say Let's MOBA or mobile? <laughs> yeah. Really. They should make a mobile mobile. Oh, no, I don't like this. I see game. the Diver. <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, snap. Is this a red crossover, Tom? Oh. I think it's just... Well, because that looked like I dredge know. for a second. It does the like the Unless they copied the idea. Yeah, no, that looks. They said it's a world premiere between two, it's two a developers. It's a crossover, yeah. Tom. Yeah. Wow. That makes sense. I was thinking that with Dredge and the fishing, so. Yep, weren't you just David, talking about oh, Dredge today? David, I, I was. I was playing Dredge last night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Convenient. That's <laughs> okay. I can't That's believe it. It's almost time for our Armin says, can Jake the wave so you can see him on screen? Yeah, Jake, it's wave if you're watching this, which he isn't. But. <laughs> I have to keep it together because I have the next yeah, Jake's in the audience go. for those Here are don't your know. nominees for content creator of the year. That's That's nice awesome. Awesome. Iron Mouse. People make games. Quackity. I've heard of one of these. Spring. I think I, I, heard I, heard I want these. people make games to win. Oh, I've heard of people make games. And the game award goes to Iron Mouse. Don't know who it is. Yeah, so, not sure. Iron Mouse couldn't be here tonight because Iron Mouse is animated and sadly we're not in the matrix yet. 
but she right, did Marco? send us a message. Take it away, Iron Mouse. I am so ah, VTuber. Gotcha. To have been the God. Of the I mean, that makes sense. VTubers have gotten award. incredibly huge First over the last few years. I want to express my deepest heartfelt gratitude. Stuff like this makes me feel like a boomer. I'm going to be honest. My streams, <laughs> and I also wanted maybe, to we don't, a maybe we don't understand what the kids watch anymore, Joey. <laughs> we don't. We don't. Thank you so much <laughs> to my team that helps me every single day. And thank you so much to the Game Awards. I still can't believe our, this Our chat's happening. starting to scream. Thank you again, everybody. Congratulations, Iron Mouse. Okay, we're getting so close to the big show, but I'm not ready to let go just Wait, yet. Two minutes. And no, I'm not a narcissist. I'm, I'm just a hoarder, a hoarder of world premieres. And up next is a very special world premiere, okay. 15 years in the making. 15 years. A world premiere, 15 years in the making. Banjo Kazooie 3. Yeah. World of Goo. World of Goo, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Nice. What a beautiful I'm happy for you, World of Goo fans. Too bad they never made another one. <laughs> Until now. Yeah, we remote she's holding too. I yes. think it is. Basically, yeah, because that's what it was on. It was on WeWare. Right, yeah, I remember it. <coughs> they can hold Joy Cons. I would yeah, take another whole Joy I would take anything from them though. Like they had Little Inferno later. Um, they had one billion humans. Did they ever re-release this on modern platforms? I don't think so. It would be nice to have the show now. Oh that. It goes goo physics! This looks very good. <laughs> Everyone with the bad puns today. <laughs> that energy is. We've been here. saving the belt since the last game awards. Yeah. yeah. That's how we get through it. So this has to come to Switch. This has to be on Switch. So I wonder though if the Henry Hatsworth creator is still with them and also working on this. Oh, it's I didn't not, know he was with he them. He was like behind Middle of Inferno and stuff. Is that the Iron Giant? <laughs> a giant optimist. Yeah, watch out for Cthulhu eating your bridge. Yeah. That sucks. Hate it when that happens. That might be a problem. Is he looking at the release date of the name? Yeah. World of Goo 2. Wow. We should have called it World of Goo 2. G2. <laughs> World of Gooey. Man, that is satisfying to watch. Almost as satisfying no as the Game Awards show that's minutes away. We have one. What? It's 5 p.m. now. Here, a brand new They're fantasy behind. RPG from the creators <laughs> of Persona 3, 4, and 5. And no, tonight they're I giving us a glimpse into the story, characters, and gameplay. Let's do this. It's a story about a world very different from ours. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists, much like the world His Highness once dreamt of. To put it another way, this is a fantasy. Uh, is it a Final Fantasy? I'm the creators of Persona, Final Fantasy. <laughs> Become of the royal magic. The fortress in the border was raised by a human mere days ago. You get the name of this game, but we've known about this for a while. It's really, uh, really yeah, stylistic. It looks land. familiar. I was like, I've seen this before. And I shall provide. Welcome one and all to the inauguration of the tournament for the throne. Small wonder when mechanical design from Evangelion. Their speeches of tribal harmony mean nothing when every day they cheat and abuse us. It tells of a world united as one tribe. So many people were just notable works, Persona. <laughs> I need one of them to say, like, notable works, um, Good Burger or something. There was a plot to his life. What I wish I could have done sooner. You're no ray of hope. You gave up on your hopes. But I will not. Now let's see what manner of story you'll weave. Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. Excited for that, Triss, as a Persona fan? 
Okay, my it's, friends. It doesn't that seem too similar for to Persona, but it does look it does look stylistically really cool. Done. Our yeah. big show is about to begin, but don't worry, this isn't the last you'll see of me. I'm staying all night, baby, and I cannot wait because this show is absolutely stacked. We have tons of big awards, even more world premieres of brand new games, and an incredibly special guest, a legendary actor and performer of both the Jake. stage and screen, the Muppet himself. <laughs> oh yeah, where is he? Gonzo. I have to admit, I'm freaking out. I'm completely starstruck. And get this, the cast of the show, based on the Fallout franchise, is here to debut an exclusive new look at the series. The vault is opening in a huge way tonight. Okay, thank you all for going on this journey with me. You're the best companions a host could ask for. Let's do the boss level. The 2023. Thank you, Nintendo, for just now putting new games on the NSO expansion pack right now. Really? What? Harvest Moon 64, 1080 Snowboarding, and Jet Force Gemini. Oh, you're Shoot. kidding. Welcome to the Game Awards 2023. I guess, should we take that to mean they don't have much tonight that they release that right now? The what the Awards hell? Why would they do that? Oh my Why? god. That's bizarre. Weird. I love because I saw uh, oh, not, even just, not, not even just one. Three. Oh. Good evening, everyone. What I said Welcome earlier, Ian Uma the is there Awards. behind Doug. Oh, I saw him. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, keep an eye on. Look out for Jake. TGA, a global there he celebration isn't. of video games, and boy, do we have a show for you! I am so excited to get this started. Together, we are going to recognize outstanding creative work in games in 2023, and we'll look into the future with an astonishing lineup of world premieres. More than anything, this is a show about bringing our community together in this room and online around the world to focus on something we can all agree on. There's nothing more powerful or more immersive than an extraordinary video game. Candy Lightspeed and chat saying, I hope they great announce a new Raymond and a new Spyro. Us, oh, a new Spyro would be different great. perspectives on the world and maybe even change us. That's what makes this medium different. Games, the actual things we play are insanely special and we're gonna celebrate that for the next few hours. And we've got such a an few amazing hours group of and business on few hours. I don't like the sound of that, Jeff. Teams, and many of them <laughs> are here tonight. Mr. Anuma, Mr. Fujibayashi, great oh. to see you back after winning Game of the Year in 2017 <laughs> for Breath of the Wild. Oh. Good luck tonight. Why are they? One of our industry's greatest creative and technical forces, Mark Cerny, PlayStation's lead system architect celebrating 25 years of Cerny Games. I kind of like just highlighting here, some of the people that are there. It's nice. Oh, hi, Mark. Of course, the team behind Pizza Towers here, too. Wow. Everyone's here. I didn't know they'd want to do Everyone that. Everyone is here. Uh -oh. our best they kind of don't say their names. For don't Hellblade. say that, Keely. The Smash Welcome. team's going to start playing. We'll be seeing you a little bit later <laughs> tonight. And we are also honored to be joined by the Tujimoto family, Haru and Ryozo, who are celebrating 40 years of Capcom this year. Yeah, 40 years of Capcom. And the Game of the Year nomination for Resident Evil. Welcome, guys. It's so great to have you with us. Now, we have a big show, so let's get right into it. To present tonight's first award is last year's winner of Best Performance. Please join me. And welcoming back to the Game Awards, yep, we're going to do it, the actor behind Kratos in God of War, oh, no. Christopher Judge! He had to say the, yeah, we're going to do it. Because of their <laughs> hour-long speech. Everyone get a sandwich. No wonder he said it's going to be a multi-hour show. Yep. <laughs> oh, what a card. He's laughing. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to be back here. I have such great memories of last year, Mr. Pacino, forgetting to thank my wife. <laughs> they already playing the music. Love it. <laughs> no, that's that's the bit now. That's great. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> all right, all right. I get it. I get it. I'm not gonna. Stand up here, making long speeches. I'm gonna stick to the script. At least they're having no fun with it. No eight-minute speech like last year. But fun fact, my speech 
was actually longer than this year's Call of Duty campaign. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Joey's just like, that's it, that's it. <laughs> End the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another him. company I'll never work for. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to present the award for best performance in a year of games, beloved by audiences and acclaimed by critics. These actors delivered six unforgettable performances. And here are the nominees. Best performance. Revenge. I thought I was about to go on a weapon. <laughs> I think it's going to be Ben Star. Years. Hope may feel beyond our grasp. You play grown up games, you face grown up consequences. I could tell to see it being Idris Elba. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? Wake has a double. My name's a star. I could also see it being Neon Uber. Ready for your annual yeah. physical? We have to talk. I haven't played. I'm the hero here. EG3 yet, so I wouldn't know. People love Asterion. Whoever wins. Oh, I guess they just have us not there. Jeff has given me the okay to say, take as long as you want to. Jeez. Thank everyone who's ever meant anything in your life. <laughs> and I dare you. I double dare you to try to break my whack record. Seven minutes, 59 seconds. Oh my God. And the award goes to. You just too busy recording Knuckles. Sure. Neil Nubar. <laughs> Might be the first of a Might be the first of a sweep. We'll see. So it begins. Yep. The sweep. If people love this area so much, like the, if, if there's anything people have kept up with in Baldur's Gate 3, it's his character. Dude, this guy's <laughs> got the drip. Look at that outfit. Hi. This is unreal. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say, I know I don't have much time. Um, <laughs> well, I'll give it a shot. Uh, so, no, thank you so <laughs> very, very much for everybody that voted. Thank my incredible uh, fellow actors and the nominees, unbelievable talent. To be even considered amongst you is, is extraordinary, so thank you very much indeed. To Swen, to Larian, to all the writers, to Stephen Rooney, the writer of Astarian, uh, to, I'm going to forget everybody. Uh, to uh, Pitstop, who worked so hard, the directors, my fellow actors, 248 incredible Ooh, actors that gave it heart and soul. Uh, to mi familia, gracias para todos. Gracias, saludos, gracias. Y coco también. And to my agents, I will thank you later. I'm sorry. I'm going to wrap it up, apparently. Yeah, that's the music. Wow. One thing I will say, please, if that's okay, the community wow. has reached out to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game when they lost hope, they felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all. And to you, I want to say thank you so much for seeing us. I appreciate it. That was good. That was a good screen. None of us are. Thank you. Did any of you see that guy in the audience wearing a suit of armor? Yes. <laughs> Who was that? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Someone who, so, so, someone who came and knew they weren't going to be upstaged in the drip. True. <laughs> Congratulations, Neil. Great speech and short, so thank you. Uh, there are lots more awards Gosh. to come, but now it's time to look ahead to what you'll be playing next. Let's get to those world premieres. All right. world premiere. And for the honor of presenting our first one, it's an incredible thrill to introduce a true Renaissance man. Please welcome Academy Award winning actor and New York Times bestselling author, Matthew McConaughey. Presenting. How are we doing? What is he doing here? <laughs> he, he, he's presenting the next world premiere. What, what's he doing here? Is it Interstellar the game? Me. Oh my gosh. I just watched that. Good to be here. I need to watch up, it again. Everybody? Good to be so, here with you at good. the Game Award. <laughs> now I was going to come out and I was going to say the Why line that here, has preceded me on my career. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Andre, you're they being asked me. if you're going to stream after this. No, no, no. I want to stream it right late, now. So. I'd rather stream Harvest Moon. <laughs> I, say, I, I wouldn't count on another stream tonight. It's going to be really God, late. Yeah, I thought it would be. You can stream it on Twitch, Andre. And we'll stay true. You're right. You from Austin's own Art Type <laughs> Entertainment. 
I'm also here tonight because the video game that I'm premiering is the first ever video game that I'm a part of. That's why he's here, yeah. Yay. Of course. When the Archetype team first reached out to me, I was excited about becoming a part of the gaming world, but what really turned me on was when they shared the game's vision and my role in it. I will be voicing a character in this game, and all I can say is that I will have a unique relationship with every player. Interesting. In this game, okay. time moves differently. Days for you are decades for your loved ones back home. The choices that you make not only this affect the people that you love, but also affect of the game. <laughs> your entire civilization for generations to come. Now, personally, you I play have by hitting the bookshelf. Time dilation. Yes. And now you can yep. too. So now I am proud to share the first ever look at Exodus. Exodus. It's so weird. He's, this happens like literally the day after I watch Interstellar. <laughs> You willed it, you willed it, Joey. Right. You yes, made I it did. happen. Well, this is a space game. Hold on, I'm getting a reading. It's Rex! Holy crap, dude. What the heck? Rex! What she found that day was a miracle. It would be our salvation to fight against the Celestials. Humanity's greatest enemy. The visuals are very nice. This is I want to see how it looks in actual gameplay. Same. They found us. Tom, stay down. The Celestials hunted us down. I knew. They keep chasing us until they ripped our ship apart. And I had to save her. I led them away from this world, away from her. We both knew the cost of using the gates. When you travel at light speed, time slows to a crawl. It was only days for me, but an entire lifetime passed for her. And in the chaos of those final moments, we never said goodbye. No, come with me! Wait! Please! Tom! I love you. I don't. <laughs> Our <service laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Our sacrifice discovers worlds. Where's Matthew McConaughey? Seeds hope. Candy says, Breaks oh my god, it's like light here. <laughs> it is, though. <laughs> travelers. That's kind of amazing. Yeah. Okay, here's him. Okay, good. Oh, dude, they're playing the song from Twilight. Let's go. I wish you saw a little bit more of the gameplay, but it's really early. That on, is I'm a sure, very exciting project, giving me some Mass Effect vibes. I just love how the team we didn't see him in the trailer, the though. Uh, at the Matthew end there, McConaughey. looks great. All right, well now we're gonna go right on to another world oh, premiere. All right. Well, it's Straight certainly saying world premiere a lot. Yeah. Sony. I missed that narrator. PlayStation Studios. Is it Last of Us? Oh, or is it something else? Naughty so, Dog. What? Uncharted? Just, if it's Uncharted, I'm gonna cry <laughs> right here, right now. That'd be amazing. Well, wow. clearly Jack and Daxter. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Ah, oh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. The DLC or something? Myself. It could be DLC or like another. Um, no, it's gotta be DLC. It's too soon for even like a, a miniature, like little mid priced game. Unless it's not coming out till like end of this next year. This the first look at it, but... Yo, what if it's like a roguelite mode or something? Well, it's no like. Shame in what just happened. That's kind of silly. Oh, Let's go again. that totally does seem roguelite. Yep. The premise, yeah, that's roguelite. It makes sense to get more mileage out of the game. 
Last of Us is doing roguelite. What's going on, Sony? It's an What's incredibly you? popular genre right now, so it makes sense. Everybody kind of wants a piece of that pie. Yeah. Everyone but Nintendo. I'll holla. Wait, hold on. Isn't Splatoon 3's DLC a roguelite? Oh, yeah. Actually, you're right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they do too, apparently. You're right. <laughs> God, Wait, that's, that's in like five days. <laughs> yes. Free? Okay, that's that's actually pretty high. Free, free DLC of that caliber in five days? That's a huge deal. That's that cool. That's cool. Good on you, God of War. There's a very nice holiday surprise from PlayStation. Kratos and Mimir are headed to Valhalla in an adventure that blends God of War Ragnarok's combat with elements inspired by the roguelike genre for an emotional, unexpected, and fun new twist. And yes, as you saw, it is free. The team at Santa Monica Studio are fans of their fans and are offering this DLC, God of War Ragnarok Valhalla, as a gift to the community, and you'll be able to download it in just five days on December 12th. Lucas, I don't think we'll see a Splatoon 3 side order here Amazing. because that's right, a bit too far away for just a small DLC, a all small things considered. independent team of developers in Australia. When was that dated for? This show can give a platform like to spring? independent creators. Mm. Their last game in 2019 was a sensation, and their next project is equally exciting like, may maybe. and unexpected. Yeah. From the creators about oh, title. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is ooh. big. Don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> Do they give it a name? Just untitled. Call it a new video game. <laughs> For you and your friends, that's the title. <laughs> I like the co potential co-op aspect. Ooh, there they are. What? What? Heck? Oh, I see them. <laughs> Not the last love of Golden. Oh, this is so <laughs> silly. I love it. Let's go. Oh, this is yeah. goofy. Why are the environments so realistic? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a little bit like a uh, the dinosaur movie from Pixar, The Good Dinosaur. Oh yes, Dino it's literally just called Dinosaur. Yeah, <laughs> that one. There you go. Hey. Oh, this is this is ridiculous. This is that, a lot more ambitious than I've had over PC. Yeah, really. Now my question is, is this multiplayer? I think it has to be. It has to be if you call it for your <laughs> you and your friends. Sure. Big walk. <laughs> Take that short walk or short hike. This is a big walk time. Okay, 2025. Oh, Super fun, so far right? away. I now. I about a year ago and had so much fun. It is a very special and unique game, and I'm honored we got to share it with you here at the show. All right, while you're watching TGA, head to TGASteamDeck.com right now. We're doing another Steam Deck giveaway. This time, it's the brand new one terabyte Steam Deck oh, OLED way, featuring an HDR OLED display. Enter now only during the it's live show at TGASteamDeck.com. <laughs> for a chance to win one of 100 OLEDs. All right, trust me, we are just getting started, guys. There are so many game announcements, Sounds awards, like he's about to get to, to an ad. ahead, including the old gods of Asgard from Alan Wake 2. Just wait, it's amazing. We'll be Let's right back. Let's go, old gods. I need, I need Jeff to stop reiterating how early into the process we are. <laughs> I'm not to far stop. enough into Alan Wake 2 <laughs> to see what the old gods' performance is going to be like. Is this Prince of Persia? Yeah, it looks like yes. a new Prince of Persia. It's P.O.P. Yeah, you know me. You are to leave the Mount Carth at once. Bring him back. Bring back my son. Oh, we got super chat from uh, from Iggy, who says, For those who aren't aware, Nintendo Shadow dropped 1080 snowboarding, Harvest Moon 64, and Jeff Force Gemini on, S on NSO a few minutes ago. Andre, will you play them after TGA tonight, or will you do that tomorrow? Probably tomorrow at this point. Um... So yeah, probably tomorrow, I'm guessing. But that's three games to try out, so... And by the time the Game Awards are over, everyone's gonna want to go to sleep. It'll be late. <laughs> yeah. Even for you guys on the West Coast. Thank you, Super Chat, Iggy. Uh, yeah, I don't know... I don't know why Nintendo would do that. Why drop them during the, ga during the Game Awards? Such a big brain move. <laughs> it really is. I don't get Nintendo. Does that, uh, should that tell us how much they really care about these NSO drops? It seems that way. 
Like, no one's gonna be covering it, no one's gonna be streaming it right now because of the Game Awards. It makes no sense. Somebody should take maybe, the Nintendo to may, business. Maybe that's why it wasn't like, here's Smash 64 or Diddy Kong Racing. It was 1080 snowboarding and Jeff Force Gemini. They could have literally done it any other day, almost any other hour. They yeah, chose that yesterday. <laughs> the yeah. worst possible time. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that they did. Yeah. yeah, they always do it in the evening, I guess, but you can change. It doesn't, <laughs> it's not mandatory. It. Right, exactly. Everybody uh, shut up. It's Lego Fortnite. It's out now. You can play it right now. I can, and I will. Bye, everyone. <laughs> that, is it fun? I, I haven't tried it yet. Oh, God, we're going to okay. copyright strike for this. <laughs> Possibly. Turn down, turn down the volume, Andre. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why they're spreading it out, so it doesn't... Uh, Trigger it, do the maybe. Strike. Whenever we hear songs on Mikey copyrighted, we'll just mute <laughs> we'll just mute the, the stream. Oh my gosh, I like a cow. There you go, Andre. The game really is for you. I like a cow. Finally, thank God. I'm seeing like you can build and do things, so is it not like playable Fortnite where you like fight each other? Oh I guess it is. They're doing that now. Never mind. Yeah. That's funny. I just find it so weird that Epic let so many people go, and then has all these huge announcements after. Like, yeah. Well, it's not that it's weird; it's so that people forget that. <laughs> but they were obviously working on these, yeah. some of them. So, we got a super chat but... from Big Keith Forty One. Thank you, Big Keith. This says Andre rules. Merry Christmas. Well, thank you so much, Big Keith, and for the super chat and the very kind words. Merry Christmas to you as well. I can't believe it's almost Christmas. I Where know. does the time go? A few weeks away. I have to put up the tree. I got my tree up last weekend. I'm so happy about it. So does this mean everything that's in Fortnite has to get a Lego version as well? All the crossover things they've been doing? Oh, it's like Kirby and Smash. Are we gonna Brothers. get Le are we gonna get Lego John w like Lego John Wick <laughs> and Lego <laughs> Alan Wake? <laughs> I mean, Lego Alan Wake and Lego John Wick are the same person. <laughs> That's fair. They are. That's why I said the two of them. You only have to do one of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Performing an original piece from our upcoming game, Senua Saga: Hellblade Two. I'm proud it's been to quite a while since we've seen one of my this favorite game, bands. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, musical performance done. Oh, that was the last on stage. The last trailer we saw was that huge, creepy giant. I think. Oh, we that's saw right. Well, no, Tom, you were there during uh, not E3 this year. They had a trailer for that. Yeah, that's what I said. That wasn't a huge giant thing, there, was it? Was it? I, I think, think you're mistaken. They showed oh, it. I've been earlier. That was another year. That was Game Awards 2021, I think. Wow. Long time. Ago. Got mixed up. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. This might be better to watch on drugs. <laughs> Joey. You mean add Bill, right? <laughs> For the <Yeah>. headache. <laughs> this show's gonna give us up to three hours. <laughs> I appreciate it's not show. like just like they're up there playing the music, but there's like it's like a whole performance to it. Like there's like the whole set pieces that are all like costumes. They got like they got marshmallows, they went all out. Uh, roasting. It's gonna be circus alert. Yeah, they went all out, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is live, uh Saha. Or however you pronounce that, sorry. This is live yeah, right this, now. This is live. Yeah. Doing it live. Game Awards are live, we're live, everything's live right now. Unless you're watching this in the future, after we've recorded, in which case it's no longer live. But right now, it is live. <laughs> no thanks, those graphics are decent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They are quite, they're pretty good. <laughs> Almost real looking. Maybe 
you think if you think the stage graphics are good, you should go watch a play. <laughs> Dude. Well, sometimes the background elements are lacking. That was true. Sometimes. Depends on how much budget they have. Yeah, you gotta use your imagination a little. No, I will say it will be funny if they don't follow this up with a trailer, another trailer for this. It totally is building up for the God of War, like four or ten minutes, where the trailer came well, immediately after the music. Yes. Mm -hmm. World premiere. No, well, we don't have those title cards anymore. Yeah, in-game footage I've captured. I've dreamt of this. Has that anything won an award yet? Oh, several have been given out already. Yeah. Metroid won for best game, not here. <laughs> oh, I hate you, Tom. <laughs> the heartbeat of the last ones. All the esports awards went out. Mario Wonder won best family game. Accessibility. Uh, accessibility Forza. was Forza. Um, best performance was Asterian in Baldur's Gate 3. That might be it. Death. I think that's it. I need to finish the first Hellblade. Oh, content creator also happened. Right. I was like, I, I forgot who won. <laughs> The VTuber. Yeah. You want the truth. All the life since Kikiverse me. says Tell if Beyond Good and Evil 2 was shown here, that would be wild. Like they did it that the uh, remaster news recently. So. That would be yeah. a surprise. I would love to see that, but I have a feeling we're never gonna see it again. Yeah. <laughs> Which is bums me is out. That re is that remaster? I mean that was just announced, is that out yet? No, it's no. not. It was they accidentally announced it. Then the copyright oh. striked our video for their mistake. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're definitely not hearing about two before that one's out. What's weird is that the game was playable on Ubisoft Plus, but it was not finished. That's like, amazing. The, the graphics actually. were not finished. I'm wow, just like, that's... why is that on Ubisoft? I don't get it. Why is that even. That feels like a huge Ubisoft? mistake was made. Yeah. It's a little different than Advanced Wars coming out earlier. Zaha Prox says, if Metro Prime 4 gets announced, they will drink a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> Joey, will you commemorate <laughs> with them in that way? No. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I might. Do we still don't know the day? We just know the year? All right. What well, an guess. amazing new look at the gameplay and world of Hellblade 2 coming in 2024 to Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. Now to present our next award, okay, please next welcome award. a former Game Award winner nominated tonight for Best Fighting Game, the creative director of NetherRealm Studios, it's Ed Boon! Ah, Ed Boon. It was either him or uh, the guy that kept it. Oh, Harada? Yeah. <laughs> I would be great getting Harada up there. The best stories are the ones we get lost in. Tonight's nominees for Best Narrative got us all in their drama, in their characters, and yes, sometimes in some weird stuff we can't explain. Here are the nominees. Best narrative. A Best horror narrative. story. They're only victims. We think uh, Joey Elwick 2 gonna win? Blesses me this That's day. a good question. It, it could, but I have not played Baldur's Game 3. Baldur's Game 3. That's gonna be a tough one to top, I think. It's, it's, your, it's your narrative. You make the narrative more important, right? So, pretty much, yeah. I mean, there's still, like, I'm sure there's still, like, a main story that's, like, set in stone, but yeah. This is a stacked category, seeing all these nominees up against each other. That's stacked. I'm going, that's that's tough. Baldur's Gate. I think it's gonna be Baldur's Gate. We'll see. I, Baldur's, I think so, too. Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. Oh! I get the consolation prize. Awesome. Very good. Alright, well it won't be a Baldur's Gate sweep then, so now uh, nope. now it's on. 
Dude, Alan Wake 2 won times best game of the year. So now I don't even know what's yeah. going to win game of the year. Yeah, th this year is honestly, oh. like, the nominees are, like, really Thank well balanced so and stacked. It's wild. Yeah. Um, Alan Wake 2... His hair always looks perfect. I don't know how. <laughs> Leader it's a lot of gel, us. yeah. A lot of gel with and perfect genetics. Team, the writers, uh, Clay, Tyler, Sinica, narrative designers who made the story into gameplay, Simone, Molly, the whole narrative team, uh, directors working with actors, Ansi, uh, Hannah, Rosie, Holly, uh, all the wonderful actors here tonight, some of them, Melanie, uh, Ilka, uh, uh, Matt and David, but the whole whole cast, wonderful actors, and, and the song makers who made custom music, custom songs to extend the story. Here tonight, later, Poets of the Fallers, Old Gods of Asgard, Poe, uh, This Road, every song maker coming through Fright Music uh, for our chapter songs. Thank you. Uh, we wanted to push things further, to do something new, and it's always a risk for you to embrace it and understand it. it means so much. I'll treasure this always. Thank you. Someone in the chat was saying he looked nervous. I think he was more just like kind of moved by winning the award. Yeah, he's he's always talked like that in like interviews and Q and A's and stuff. Um, and he, Yo, Alan Wake 2's got a weird narrative. I'm kind of surprised <laughs> one. This that, that game is weird. Really? It's oh, I'm just like, I'm surprised. Part of me is like surprised it's even like nominated for so much because I felt like that's a game made just for weirdos like me and like not the, not like the whole population. It's a positive kind of pretentious and therefore it's very highly respected. That's true. Like Epic Games gave the developers like millions of dollars and said, go nuts. We're not going to give you any notes <laughs> on what to do. That incredible creator who built her own independent studio in Tokyo and she wanted to show you what she's doing. Oh, let's see what game she's, she's making. Even signed it with Me a too. publisher or a platform. I said, come to this show. Just yeah, show Joey, it to the Alan audience. Too. It's like an innovative AAA so game. That's what we're going right? to do. We're honored oh, to have totally her back is. at the yeah, Game so. Awards. Please give so a warm we welcome to Akumi Nakamura. Ah, Akumi Nakamura, yeah. Do you remember her there super cheerful uh, <laughs> speech earlier? Wow. The world doesn't deserve her. She no, she's great. Me, amazing gamer. <laughs> Hi, Akumi Nakamura desu. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm super excited to be on this stage again. Thank you. Uh, first, oh. <laughs> first, I want to say thank you to the Anshin artist, Miteru. <laughs> and you, thank you, 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 all of you. <laughs> I like your jacket. Really pretty with the gradient. Your support changed my life. <laughs> Today, I am honored to introduce our first project, Kemuri. It's time to okay, see the, the unseen. Meet it! Yeah. Bye bye! Kemuri. Stylistic. I mean, you already sold me on the art style. Let's just say yeah. and Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay. Is that interesting? So I wonder how close the actual game looks tonight. tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Akumi. Now, tonight, it's not lost on me that all of our Game of the Year nominees are from big, established franchises. And while we all love a big sequel, it's important to use a place like TGA to introduce you to brand new worlds, like what you just saw with Kamuri, and like this project. Brand new worlds. My sister fair. 
Something with shipwrecks. She drowned this evening, but still visits by the light of the moon. We prayed for summer, we prayed for fall to prosper, to love, to forgive. And our prayers came back like a little. Uh, the bear from that one creepy movie, Freaking Annihilation. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was terrifying. I think it was. Moon Studios, creators of Ori. Oh, Ori. Oh. oh snap, dude. Sold. Pre-order. Preload. Creators of Ori said we want to make a game of pirates. And it's 3D now. Visually, there's something pretty really stunning about this, but that's not surprising for that team. All you had to tell me, that's all you had to tell me was it was Moon Studios. Anyone seen anybody talk about Silk Stuff? No nope. rest for the wicked. We got a pretty clever logo. Gotta admit. I like that. I like that logo. Yeah. That sword putting a lot of work there. <laughs> yes. That's no rest for the wicked in action RPG from Moon Studios. And more information is coming March 1st, as you saw with the Wicked Inside That's a Showcase. A while away. Tonight during to the Game Awards, show, viewers okay. in the U.S. can enter to win one of 100 Lenovo Legion Go gaming handhelds, a Windows 11 gaming PC I in your to hand. I try to enter these, these contests, and they're the like the not loading. To enter for your chance to There's a reason win. for that. It's all Here's scam. A look at the Legion Go in action. Yeah. Diamond Core in chat says, I'm gonna throw a wild card out there and predict that Tears of the Kingdom DLC will be announced here. Yes, Nintendo said it wasn't happening, but they lie all the time. I believe it. It's not happening. No way. <laughs> I think they this really the... gotta focus on making just a new Zelda for the, the next Switch. Or the Seriously. Next really I'm glad it doesn't it's not gonna have Ultra Hand, thank God. Of ah. exploring new worlds. Yeah, we have to uh, do a discussion on that. The rush of for real, for real. I think I wouldn't be so opposed to having Ultra Hand discovered. again, especially if you could build with friends in the multiplayer game. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, Congo but says, at that point, that's not Zelda anymore. I know. Congo says leggy hand. <laughs> Was it leggy? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it could be at times, but it's just a pain to control. And well, like, especially when you build a two mile giant tall stick. giant yeah, stick pile. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Those were the days. Yep. <laughs> choice you make is a chance to feel something new Come was that switch to no we have not seen anything related to switch to no. and we won't yeah we won't we today. won't i hope we see more from xbox though yeah we're gonna see a lot more from xbox. avatar i actually want to try this game i want to try avatar i never would have guessed that <laughs> i know it's, not, <laughs> it's almost like i'm a big james cameron fan or something i didn't play oh, the first man. one though i the one that came out on the what 360 I, it doesn't sound like you have to play it at all. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's like, you have the mark. yeah, you yeah. I heard it's okay, it. but like, I just got a new TV, and I feel like a game like this Touch would really me like. I mean, it looks pretty. beautiful. Yeah. 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 What they do to the land, the RDA. Oh, I'm having Titanfall two flashbacks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Entertaining. That's the best <laughs> quote you can take yeah, from Game Informer. It was entertaining. entertaining. Little do they know, the first, the, the full quote is, it is entertaining how bad this game is. Or something. <laughs> it's like, entertaining, it is not. <laughs> that, that, that is... <laughs> By Yoda. <laughs> that, that doesn't make me feel good about the game. If that was 
the best quote they could take from Game Informer. You're just For a real. riffle waffle. You can't even aim when you go into battle. I am a baron. You are a border. Is this even decrease. a real game they're playing? <laughs> I don't think so. I got an <laughs> Some sort of Discord <laughs> ad, though. Yeah. Are they playing? Is there a game? Is he teabagging? Yeah. He's teabagging a Discord ad. That's, that's just an ad for Discord. Is this... Is this game re I mean, is, this is what World of Warcraft night, would look like if it really was good. It really has been an outstanding year for gaming. And now to talk about some of the biggest games, it's a pleasure to welcome from the Muppets, ah. that's right, the great Gonzo. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, Muppets Jeff, time. It's great to be here. Hello, everybody. Hey, buddy, thanks for uh, coming. I Looks like you're kind of wearing what I'm wearing. Yeah, it's like looking in a mirror, isn't it? Well, I really, well, don't, I really think... don't think. So, Gonzo, so Gonzo what, have you, what have you been playing? playing? Seriously, what, what have you been, been playing? playing? Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Gonzo's, Gonzo's buying, buying everyone, everyone popcorn, popcorn tonight. tonight. Hey, wait a minute! Uh... All right, that was a good one. You got me. Well played, Jeff. Can you imagine how much money that would cost? Yeah, well, thank you. Seriously, though, <laughs> what have you been playing, Gonzo? Especially if it's popcorn from well, the movies. Yeah, right. Lots and lots of Tears of the Kingdom. What an incredible game. You know that I'll one mission that. where you follow the cuckoo up a hill? I lost track of how many days I spent doing that. The objective is really, you know, just follow the chicken. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> That's right, you do love your chicken. So I guess that was your favorite part. What did you think of the ending? Oh, I never get past that cuckoo mission. I keep restarting to see if I can get a slower time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, any other great gaming highlights this year for you, Gonzo? Are you kidding? Actually, if you have the time... Hey, you, you guys got a minute? Oh, no. <laughs> I'd like to show you how many of this year's greatest games all revolve around one yeah, central Michael theme. Yeah, like Judge or come in, because we're judged. <laughs> got the case board? Yeah, well, that's quite a conspiracy you've... The Minecraft chicken. I know, I know. You probably the Chocobo in Final Fantasy. <laughs> Can't appreciate video games. Crash in the outfit. One very specific interest. I mean, yeah, I think we're all thinking that. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. What do you think, Zelda? <laughs> yes! Let's do this IRL! <laughs> Come on! The big Unbelievable. Huh? All right, here are the nominees for Best Debut oh, I'm just Indie Game. This is how you present Best Debut Indie? Best Debut Indie Game. All right. Yeah. By, by prefacing it by talking about Zelda and other games. Are you going for Pizza Tower, Tom? Is that your hope? Uh, I hope it would be Tower cool thing. if it could win, but Venba would be more of the classy choice. That's we fair. played Venba at GDC, and I haven't yeah. played it since. I like Viewfinder. I didn't finish it, but I thought it was I want to play Viewfinder very badly. The I gameplay of Viewfinder is excellent. Cool. Just the story yeah. is, and like, the storytelling is a bit weak. Mm. Oh, I see. In that right, short time, time, Jeff so. got Thank on the main so. stage. And now to the task I can see his thread. We did over there. see. Cocoon! So, I had predicted Cocoon for best indie game overall. Yeah. And sometimes they do have category overlap. Yeah. I was thinking they might not give it to them because it's the guy from Play Dead who did Limbo and Inside. Like, one of them left to make Cocoon. So, it's kind of like, eh, it's a new studio, but it's not a new studio. So. Well, yes. another guy from Play Dead went to. I don't think they were involved in the like the creative side of the game, but I think they produced that one game from so last much. year. Uh, um, the team from Geometric couldn't make it out tonight. I totally forgot what it was called. Uh, anyway. But they wanted us to pass along their thanks for everyone who played and voted for Cocoon. And to Yepi, Mads, and Jakob, and everyone at the team at Geometric, thank you so much for being such a wonderful He's wearing an Outer game. Wild shirt. Thank you. He's from Annapurna. Yeah. The Geometric team also wanted to thank um, and be, they were honored to be nominated with all the awesome studios in this category. Um, we can't wait to see what you guys do next. Thank you. Everybody starts walking the wrong way. It's happened every time so far. <laughs> Do the be like best mobile game of 2023, yes. but which title are you most excited to see go mobile in 2024? Google Play will be awarding the most anticipated title with their Play the More Xbox. award on Twitch. Hello. So head on in over to Twitch seats. to lock your vote. And now it's time to find for Jake. our next world premiere. <laughs> oh, head to world premiere. I can't see Jake now. <laughs> yeah, they're ruining it. Yo, yo.
Sonic. Uh, ring noises. I hear the ring noises. Or rather, it's a Sega ad. But their vibe makes me think Jeff Set Radio. That'd be amazing. Oh my god. If it's, is this the announcement they were teasing? I think so. Cards. Crazy Taxi. Crazy yeah, Taxi, let's just play. This is Sega ad in general. Sega world of all their different characters together to be their that Fortnite. Would be of the game. Same Fortnite. Really? Smash Brothers. Sega Smash Brothers. Their, of course I did. Uh, their super game. Yeah, they're super game. Why did it sound so ominous? <laughs> it's like a Sega what Smash it, Brothers. Let me that would be insane. That is just at radio. Yep. Oh wow. my god. Wait, what? Wait, what? Just at radio and... It's a, it's a new era of Sega in general. We're getting teasers from a lot of things, it looks like. What is happening, dude? That's crazy taxi. Uh, that's, that yeah. looks... Yeah, that is a brand new Yo. crazy taxi. Holy crap. Holy No B, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Five Crazy new Taxi, and more. Wow. That what? is epic. Sega's busy. Holy crap. Oh, Sega's about... back, baby. Sega's back. We did have that leak earlier for Jet Set Radio. That that's cool. awesome. That's cool. It's nice that to was see cool. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, typically a world premiere reveals I one game, it. but leave it to Sega to announce five new games in one trailer. So many memories for all of us. All of those are first of the many brand new games in development and set for release over the next several years. That's cool. Thanks to Sega for that truly wow. incredible yeah. announcement. Yeah, we'll see the ultimate right, well, fruition, this next but that's trailer exciting. Might be something Dragon Ball fans have been waiting to Dragon hear about for a while. Here we go. Well, like after playing Mile High Taxi earlier in the year, like left me itching for a new crazy taxi because I missed out on a few things and didn't do we it. We also had that, was made by one guy. that Jet Force Radio spin-off, or not spin-off, but <laughs> indie Bomb game Bomb Rush too. Cyberpunk. Yeah, that's it. Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Yeah. Yeah. It was time, like people were really clamoring for that. It was time for me to uh, get so yeah. That's going to be hard to top. That might be my favorite announcement. I mean, that <laughs> is definitely my favorite announcement so far. That was cool. That's not the Frieza voice I remember from the original original yeah. uh, translation. Sparking Zero. Wish this straight into something else. Behavior, here we go, the Dead by Daylight single player, or no, no, so, oh, it might be. Guess we'll see. Yep, it is, the single player game. Whatever's down there is too dangerous. Don't know where the Dead by Daylight yet. We're gonna get the Entity's origin story. I'm a huge Dead by Daylight fan, and that did nothing for me. It was too cinematic. That's right. Two huge yeah. names in the horror genre, Dead Didn't by Daylight him. and Supermassive Games, are coming nice together song. for a brand new single-player experience, the casting of Frank Stone. Now, tonight we're showing you lots of new worlds, but now it's time to return to a world we haven't seen in quite some time. Oh. What world? 
Oh, By the way, I saw your super chat, you, and I'll read it soon. Thank you for it. Oh my god, this is Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> wow, quite the artistic <laughs> change. <laughs> yes. What world is this? This is, It looks like Genshin, but... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking Genshin Impact. But it's like, they never went anywhere. So what do they mean by it's been a long time? Oh, no, it doesn't look like Genshin to yeah. me. No, it's not, if it's been a long time. It's like you see... Not Dragon Quest? No, it can't be. Trono Trigger 2. Where? Okay. <laughs> oh, Trials of Mana, uh, Jay said in the chat. Yeah. Okay, uh, that that makes, yeah I recognize yeah. the enemies now. Yep. Yeah. Alright, looks good. Visually. This doesn't look really neat, God, why is everyone trying to be Breath of the Wild? I mean, A new mana. Visions of Mana. I like the strike through the text with the gradient for it. I think that's cool. That looks really good. I I do Next not year. like care for the this series at all, but this like I'd play this. Mm -hmm. PlayStation Studios. Koei Tecmo. Koei Tecmo. Koei Tecmo. The beat of a drum. A fleeting moment can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its deadly rhythm. And a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. The only thing we know I for sure the of other <laughs> is that time marches forward. Ah, yes. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation, no. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of without remorse. I've, we've seen, I've seen, think we've seen this game before, but like a while ago. Drives the rhythm. Where got guns? The river directs the flow. Let's do this together. I'm out. How many? The gunslinger and a. This is just like a dragon. <laughs> Let us not forget the pain of Master Showing and the countless others who have suffered. As the smoke rises, so shall we. Ronin. Rise of the Ronin. Rise of the planet of the Ronin. will sacrifice their part on our for duty. So which of you will do the deed? Specific date, March 22nd, 2024. Very nice. I think that's the first specific date we've had that's thus far Rise for a release Ronin date. coming to PlayStation in 2024. Now it is yeah. time to announce winners in a number of they other are pretty categories. Good at making Several winners. Are the nominees for best Sword action games. games. Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Dead Island 2. I'm not familiar enough with most of these to guess. I, Rush, I would guess Armored Rundin Core. Some here. Oh, definitely Award Armored Core. It's from software. Yep. Armored Core Called 6, it. Fires of Rubicon. Congratulations from. Here are the nominees for Best Art Direction. Oh, Alan here we go. Let's see if Hi-Fi Hi Rush gets it. Hi-Fi Rush. It's got to be Hi-Fi Rush, Super I feel Mario like. Brothers Wonder and the Unless Legend Alan Lake 2 gets another vote. And the game award goes to. Uh, oh wow! All right. All right. All right. Gran Remedy. Here are the nominees for best VR AR: Gran Turismo 7, Humanity, Horizon, Call of the Mountain, Resident Evil. Call Will, the Mountain VR is boring. It better snaps. not win. And the game award Humanity? goes to. I hope it wins just nope. to make you mad. Ah, take that, Joey. Okay, good. <laughs> hey. Hey, now I I was I was hoping this would win. Honestly, game. I played this Final thing for on to back. Ever Crisis. Honkai Star Rail, Hello Kitty if Island Adventure, Monster Hunter Now, like, Terra Nell, like a few months ago, yeah, yeah, yeah this would have 
taken it by Honkai a land. That's why it's so dumb. I don't know. This, I don't know. This, 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 I kind of looked at this. I feel like Honkai Star Rail is so commonly talked about. I, I oh, okay. Because there's so many sponsors. We sponsor everything. And some of our biggest game announcements are Let's still go. to come. But right now, we'd like you to meet one of tonight's nominees for best debut indie game, who is also part of the newly inducted future class presented by Old Spice. Why is Old Spice okay? Why does Old Spice nominate My new name is Abhi. Yeah, younger <laughs> creators? I had a very early this interest is, uh, in Venba. Yes, her Venba. Oh, we, oh, we met him, didn't we? Yeah, he was so cool. World for yeah. Me. For many South Asian Where do you meet? Oh, GDC, it must have been. Yeah. Just, uh, thing to cook, but we sat on the couch the with him playing his game. And all the things that they I cannot just have say. to play. Remember, it's so charming. I, it's on my backlog. I still need to get to it. The, the demo I played almost made me cry. <laughs> I know. Really? It's so sad at the end. Like, I did not see that coming. It's a story yeah. about love, loss, and family. <laughs> the more local you are, the more international you become. Everybody who's played the game is able to put something from their lives into it in ways that I wouldn't have expected. It's awesome. It was like an ad, but I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lower the volume during these ad breaks real quick. And we have a super chat a while ago now from Yoon Park. Thank you, Yoon, who says, Hey guys, it's good to see you guys, uh, all of you, in one here, in one stream here. How have you been, guys? We had great, we had a, uh, we had great games this year. What games did you like the most? So we'll be talking more about that, you know, our game of the year and our own game of the year discussion, I'm sure, soon. But yeah, what are uh, what are some of our favorites? What stood what stood out to us, real quick? Oh man, so many this year. Like honestly, this this year really has been incredible for gaming. I mean, obviously Zelda, Mario, I liked even more than I expected. Mario Wonder, um, Spider Man Two has been great. Alan Wake Two has been great. Like I'm I'm so surprised at how impressed I've been across the board. Honestly, it's been a yeah. strong year. It really has been, yeah. Alan Wake 2, been waiting for that for like 12, 13 years, and it was very much worth the wait. Uh, and then I played Spider-Man 2 right after, and I'm just like, yo, how do we keep getting wins this year, man? Uh, so good. Uh, such a good year. It really has been. Yeah, uh, obviously, Early Access Carpoon, being by me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, heck yeah. I I've loved uh, AAA space, like, uh, for multiplayer, Mario Wonder and Street Fighter VI, those have been a lot of fun for me. And but tons of great indie games. Like I did enjoy the gameplay of Viewfinder, uh, and uh, playing other ones recently, like Sea of Stars. Are you? How far in Sea of Stars are you? About eight hours in. Oh, okay, that's a cool. good Not chunk. Is that, was that nominated? No, yeah, that's nominated, right? For indie games. Not for best indie game. Okay. I'm actually surprised well, it wasn't I, up for more. Like I love this cheery conversation we're having over the Outlast trials or whatever was going on <laughs> the there. Contrast. Like that was yeah, <laughs> quite the contrast. I don't know if anyone in chat was seeing my reactions. Like I was just like, what, what is happening over here? It's like some gory, gross game, and it's like I'm just gonna eat a sandwich now. Yeah. Mm, so good. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are officially in stress. Officially an hour through oh. the Game Awards, it means there's at least an hour and a half okay, left. Probably oh more. God. I am so sad that that was not a real game that we just saw. <laughs> it was called Kingdom of, of Stress, but it was a non-smoking ad. He's been a huge supporter of the Game Awards since the Second very beginning back effect. in 2014. And tonight, Hideo Kojima. I am so it's so probably, yeah, it's probably Kojima. to share this latest update with you. It's Kojima. Will they hug? Here we go. Hideo Kojima, come on, He's Jeff, don't. Me out already. It's a Geiger counter? Yeah, yeah Hideo Kojima, there it is. We knew it, come on, yeah. Jeff, the way you talk about this man. Will there be radioactive space waves? Always. Is that the, is that the, yeah, that's her, from It. Why are they talking about Barney? The <laughs> giant it's a Kojima game. You'll never know what you're gonna get. That's true. Yeah. Purple dinosaurs ate the fox. Very curious how this ties into Death Stranding too, unless it's something different. I think it's just announcing new cast members this way. It's got the Death Stranding two font stuff. That'd be very That's weird true. to share font over two games. That's true. Now I kind of just hope Conan's head appears for one of them. <laughs> yes. 
using Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Oh, D. Is this a new one? Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's one. not Death Stranding 2. Wow. For Players and screen. It's a horror game. So oh. it's a studio style. It's an Xbox game. <laughs> Big, Big Munga says this feels illegal to watch. Yeah, it does. <laughs> right? It does. <laughs> That's just like a crazy teaser there. Yeah. That was nuts. That... PT? No, it's gonna be him coming out from behind the door. Please welcome the visionary game developer behind OD, Mr. Hideo oh Kojima! That's so funny. I could argue that Microsoft wanted to show off more of their titles to look forward to in the future. Welcome, Mr. Kojima, back to the Game Awards. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Uh, to TGA,新作のゲーム,OD,発表できて非常に嬉しいです。このゲームには、ソフィア、リリスト、ハンター・シェーファーと、ウドッキアさんが I'm really glad to be at the 10th uh, uh, Game Awards. Really happy to show the new title, OD. And this title will feature uh, main role Sophia Lillis, uh, Hunter Schaefer, and Udo Kier. Yeah. Uh, I think we all want to know more, of course. What kind of game are you making, Mr. Kojima? あの、ま、僕はその誰もがやったこともないような、え、斬新なことに挑戦することを非常に大好きなんですけども、え、ま、あの、Xbox so I really like to always challenge new things, groundbreaking things, and that's my kind of rule. Uh, but this one, um, with uh, help of Xbox, Xbox Game Studios and using their uh, cloud gaming technology, cloud um, gaming, I'm kind of doing this uh, together. But it's it's really to make immersive and also something that never no one has seen before oh boy. is what I'm trying to do. As and always, it is a game, don't get me wrong, but it's at the same time a movie, but at the same time a new form of media. Uh. Well, we can't wait to learn more about- <laughs> That's about working. right for Kojima. It's a little concerning. Yeah. Wait, wait, is, is there somebody else at the door? It's Jordan Peele, Miyamoto. No, it's Jordan Peele. Everyone, please welcome Jordan Peele You're right. to the Kojima I know that track. I know that track. <laughs> That's from us. They're collaborating? Okay. Yeah. Also, he was on Hideo Kojima's podcast, so... Oh, that makes ah. sense. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, Kojima, Kojima got the How's hug with, with Jordan Peele, but not Jeff Keighley. Oh, my God. Jordan, welcome to the Game Awards. What a fun surprise. I know you're... A big fan of Hideo's games, right? I'm a huge fan of Hideo. This man is an icon. And uh, I, I can just, I can say from the first moment I played Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> Cheers. I knew I was experiencing the work of an artist whose craft just hits different. And he's been an inspiration to me. And the opportunity to collaborate with him is truly incredible. In my films, I'm always trying to maximize the immersion, put the audience into the main character's shoes. Hideo is the master of this, and he does it on a whole nubba level. <laughs> and what he's cooking up here is completely immersive, utterly terrifying, and I am absolutely honored to be collaborating with the GOAT. Let's go! <laughs> Two goats Let's working forget. together. Uh, on PT. Hideo, I want to ask Fire you, Hills. how are you yeah. collaborating with Jordan? Tell us about it. あの、えっと、ま、ジョーダンはま、天才と評価される数少ないクリエイターの一人で、で、僕はもう彼の大ファンだったんです。で、お会いして非常に気が合うので、
、もう最初に会った時から、えー、昔からの知り合いみたいな大人なじみみたいな感じで,で僕は映画を見て育ってゲームを作ってますでジョーダンは、えー、ゲームを、えー、遊びながら育って映画を作ってるんでこの2人が一緒にコラボするの非常に面白いかなというので、えー、ジョーダンと一緒にものを作り出しました。Well, Jordan is one of those genius, and I've been a big fan of him. And when I met him, I felt like we were friends from the past. We get on very well. We <laughs> like the things that we both like, and we're really happy, and we wanted to collaborate something. And, and this time,、um, well, Jordan, I, I grew up watching movies, and I'm a game creator now. Jordan grew up playing games, and he's a movie director now. So, this two collaboration will be really awesome. So, that's why. I wanted to do something together with Jordan. あとですね、あの。<笑> and of course, Jeff's giving them the longest segment. <笑> yeah, of course. あのー、まあ、このプロジェクトは、えー、ジョーダンだけではなくて、えー、まあ、多くの、えー、クリエイティブサポーターとか、あのー、まあ、あの人たちと、えー、もう参加が予定されてます。<笑>えー、で、あの、プレゼンの恐怖っていうのの焦点を当ててもらって、ストーリーテリングしてもらうと予定です。で、あの、ここではそのメンバーを紹介できませんけども。非常に豪華な夫人というか巨匠たちの集まりなんで、えー、僕はその彼らを集めてアベンジャーズと呼んでます、えー、ぜひ楽しみにしてください So、uh, what I could say right now is that I'm kind of um, um, it's not just Jordan I have other、uh, creative collaborative partners、uh, with me on board on this project I can't really、uh, say who they are right now but they, I tell you they are the legends And they're going to be amazing. Oh boy. And、uh, I actually call them the Avengers. Yeah, you think Del Toro would be possible.、Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering that. Yeah. Well, the door is closed for now, so no more special guests, but it's going to be amazing. Want, I, I just want to stress that what this man is building here is unlike any other game, it is going to be crazy. That's, that's it. Well, we knew that. They're really、And、setting really, really high expectations. Well, his、Jordan、games are always、Gale. crazy. That's、Thank、nothing so new. No, no, of course. Of course. <laughs> right. If the game、yeah. were sane, that'd be something new. It's time、yes. for another game announcement. This one's 65 million years in the making. Dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. The TV show? I the game? I Jurassic Park. Of the ghost of Costa Rica. Oh, it's definitely Jurassic、really? Park. It's got that music playing.、Yeah. Okay, but if it's another one of those, place, like, build your own, like, hard game, I'm going to be pissed. But it doesn't look like it's so far. It's real. Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Maya Joshi. I've been left behind on、Good. Isla Nubla. We're on the right track. <laughs> Gotta recreate iconic moments. Right? Yeah, basically. Dude, but are they making a dress park horror game? This, this makes me happy. I was gonna say, a horror game would actually be really cool. Can、well, you imagine going through the forest at night in the rain? That'd be scary. Like this. <laughs> yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. She's gonna run into Jeff Goldblum. He's like, oh, I was also left behind. I thought you were gonna say Jeff Keighley. <laughs> yeah, Jeff <laughs> No. Uh oh. Find a way. Stay still, it's sight space, not movement. Oh, gameplay, thank god. Yeah. Alpha. Survival. Alright. I'm intrigued. So, I'm so, intrigued survival, too.、Uh, survival horror. Just goes to show that we're. Interesting. Were there no moments in any、Please、other Jurassic、welcome. Park movie、Ready、after that? <laughs> just the one. I mean, at least, hey, be thankful. Jurassic Park is not Jurassic World, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Hello, everybody. I'm honored to be here tonight to present the award for Best Audio Design. Best Audio Design. Sound is an、okay. often overlooked but crucial aspect of game development. It's what brings games to life, 
creating the immersive worlds we love to explore. It's the eerie noises deep in the forest, the echoes inside an abandoned spacecraft, or the satisfying sound of shooting a web. This year, we've seen some incredible examples of audio design in games as talented sound designers have pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Here are the nominees. Best audio design. Yeah, the way too. Yeah. That might win it. Is that if I rush nominated for this? But I feel like it should be. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right. I feel like that has a chance. Marvel Spider-Man 2. RE4. I kind of feel like Spider-Man 2 has to win something at some point. I feel like I guess the high five rush is Spider-Man 2. And the I'm game award goes two. to High Fi no, Rush. Yes. Well, nice. Oh, there you go. I think I deserve it. Yeah. yeah. It does. It does. Exactly, Chrissing. Thank you so much. Sinjirari mas. Eh, to. Eh, kono yona subarashi show o itadaki arigatou gozaimasu. Eh, seisak team ichigan tonatte torikunda seika o eh hyouka shite itadaketa koto o taihen ureshiku omoimasu. Eh, seisak o support shite kudasatta a mina sama, mata sakuin o ouen shite itadaita mina sama ni eh kokoro yuri kansha itashimasu. Eh, honto ni arigatou gozaimasu. Just a quick translation. Thank you for this amazing award. It's so glad that the work that the team has done together has to achieve has been recognized here. Thank you to everyone who supported this project. And for myself, thank you to our family, friends, partners, pets. Um, thank you everyone, Bethesda, ZeniMax, Microsoft, and the, all the players out there um, for going with this ridiculous project. And most of all, to the team at Tango for taking such a wild idea and making it a reality. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Chris this, uh, says, please, Evil Within 3, you really wonder, are they going to keep going Hi-Fi Rush route or go back to their roots? Like, kind of I think they'll right, do a bit of both. I mean, like, if you haven't like it's clear they were working on both um, in Fortnite. It's been updated a Hi-Fi Rush and Ghost Park Tokyo Gordon's at the same time. So yeah. who's platform platform to say they're... With tons of I don't think they'll get shy away from more. Royale. Earlier today, LEGO Fortnite launched, and on Saturday, the music game Fortnite Festival. Tomorrow, though, the team at Psyonix behind Rocket League delivers rocket racing. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush Here's was shadow one. dropped. That's what's insane. Yeah, that's right. Rocket racing. I'm actually curious about this. So it's Rocket League racing game? Basically. Huh. With Fortnite characters. Fortnite characters, that's like a very wide range of characters. Yes. Like, I, I better see Chun-Li in her car, along with <laughs> what, the alien from Aliens. Now the real question is: Is this is this reflective of what the actual gameplay is going to be like with like these portals? Because you could do some really interesting things with track designs if so. You could. Oh, good. But, Just look so forward to uh, future races being everyone flying through the entire track. <laughs> uh, I agree, Johnny. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Assuming you play this way. That limits. I did notice when they crossed that finish line, they teleported. To where? No, not Phantom actual zone? gameplay footage. Okay. They. They're oh, oh, where is the actual so gameplay footage? Yeah, it's out my. soon. Yeah. Caption on PC. A mix of actual gameplay and in-game cinematics. So what is it? Still holds sway. Their glory fades through time. To be an immortal. Master, are there more good folks in the world or bad? More good, of course. Then why is there always suffering? And why do the bad folks always win? 
Because goodness without teeth punishes not. These are some the wacky looking designs. Right. Whoa, what and the heck? It's a Monkey King game, game, isn't it? The Monkey and King game, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I've seen this before, yes. but yeah, very neat. The best the Journey to the West, West video game was Enslaved Odyssey the to the West. Starring Andy Serkis. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. Tell me, is my kind destined for extermination? Lord, driven by glory, not destiny. So this is the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. Bathed in blood, yet preaching peace. Oh, you immortals, I pray the creature designs. Me. Yeah, the creature Such designs are really strong. Superiority. Well, that one looks like a, almost like a plant coming out of the head. Well, I didn't know before. That's so freaky. Oh, yeah, like the head poppers in RE4? Yeah. Yeah. I get what you mean. Destiny. Yep. Every time we see this, it looks, it, it definitely looks like more and more ambitious each time. There's a release date. Wow. Batman. Green there we go. Suicide the Squad. Superman. Your friends are slaughtering the people they swore to protect. My Justice League will burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Now, top of me, I'm counting your age. Intangible. I bet you didn't fit, so I commend you to. You think you're a team now? You think you can stop us? Thought you'd never ask. Pick and choose, sit and lose, all you different crews. So really slightly off music track, <laughs> maybe <laughs> playing later. The fastest man alive, according to all I love me some gorillas. Yeah. <laughs> Super Mario Chaos said Mario Wonder DLC that was crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> truly the ultimate wonder effect. Yes. <laughs> What's the plan? Time for us bad guys to save the world. It's like we seem to be in another kingdom. Hmm. They need to. I don't know if it's been done yet. They need to make a uh, video with like you collect a, a Mario Wonder Flower and then you get transported to the beginning to of Skyrim. All things Warframe. <laughs> uh, we've got a special Warframe Twitch drop tonight for those of you watching on Twitch. But I understand you've also got some other news for Warframe fans on the next expansion, right? Yeah, we do. You know, it's been 10 years for Warframe, so you know, 10 years for you. We assumed we'd get a seniors discount of some time, just because our game is probably the oldest game here, maybe. But yeah, we keep going strong. I know it's because our community is so awesome, and we are going to be showing you the release Wait date until for the Beyond our Good next and Evil anniversary for Warframe. So we do have here. a trailer. That's right. For, you know, Warframe <laughs> players around the world to watch, which is quite exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible ride. Ten years of just our incredible I like a Twilight Princess hat, like long just Twilight Princess hat too. So Yo, that's cool. Cool. Fan and watching, that's cool. We love you and thank that's you so much. Good. And I hope you enjoy the next update, Whispers in the Walls. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back too. Devs at home, we love you guys. All right, thanks guys. Let's take a look. For generations you've slept. No purpose. No call to wake you. But now... You have changed everything. The lidless eye has seen you. The Tenno. Ooh, this is a very fast pace.
yeah, this game is free to play, but I've, I've heard people say, like, they've played this game for, like, years and they've never paid a cent for it. Yeah. Wow. One of my friends did that. Then he had to stop because it was consuming his life. <laughs> like an MMO. Yeah. Why was there a subway train? Why not? Don't be late. Hmm. What? Okay. That was a very noisy trailer. There is so <laughs> much yeah. more Game Awards ahead. You thought the surprises were done? Nope, there's lots coming. But while you're here, head to SuperGameAwards.com through December 31st for a chance to win a trip for four to the brand new Super Ooh. Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood. Well, that's cool. Here's a look. Almost a year old, Jeff. Not brand new anymore. An ad for Super Nintendo World. <laughs> if y'all thought Nintendo wasn't gonna be here. <laughs> Ready for a new way to play? Experience the immersive world of Super Mario. Well, here's officially one thing. Like never before. I predicted just like a generic commercial, but yeah, I guess it makes sense to be pushing oh, this. Yeah. My people though. Super Nintendo World. Hey, go now Super open. Nintendo World for vacation. Hollywood. It's pretty fun. It was a, I had a great time when I went over the summer. I will be right back, everybody. Hold on, I gotta lock myself out. <laughs> Too soon, Tom. Too soon. Rude. <laughs> this is Microsoft reminding everyone to play Starfield. <laughs> Super Nintendo World, I wonder if Donkey Kong Land, or the Donkey Kong Country will open up when I'm there next year. Yeah, uh, well, in Japan? Yeah, it should be, because it's opening in spring, I think they said, so. Yeah, yeah they like said go, the spring. Like early spring, so I'll see. Uh, Hopefully, yeah, it could be late yeah. spring, I suppose. Gotta wait till it's 40 degrees <laughs> Celsius. I don't know what that is for you in Fahrenheit, but I know that it's super hot. We have sworn to protect the living from the lingering dead. Keep the incarnate and the invisible separate. Oh, goodbye to all those to people. Peace yeah. On Adam's souls. Once their grip on this world is broken. Life to the living. Death. Life to the dead. Oh, I think I remember seeing this before. This is an old trailer? No, not, oh, not an old trailer, but it's a game we've known about. I'm not sure I can do that. Honor your oath or bring me back. But don't leave me like this. Vanishers, yeah, I do remember. I do remember hearing about this and seeing something about it. 911, this call is being recorded. What is your emergency? Welcome to that, Joey. I, Thank you. I need the police. Hey, you need the police right away. I'm sorry. Is this Bioshock? That's the that very field that statue feels very much like Bioshock. But yeah, it's different. Oh, no, just some war game. Yeah. We gotta get you up. Look out! Ready? Officer is down and we need backup. Let's go! Get back! still make it out of this. He's holding up his left hand. He could shoot out magic. That's true. That Gary so, Oldman? are you ready? Are you ready? Ready or not? <laughs> yeah, that's... I remember hearing about this. Uh, okay. That's in the movie. One point now. Which is very different. <laughs> In super different. Just a few days. 
Ready or not, here I come. Dot, dot, dot. Age of Empires, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, Little Nightmares, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six are just some of the big titles coming to mobile in 2024. Head to the Game Awards on Twitch to vote for which title you want to win Google Play's own Play More Award. Now, please welcome last year's winner of Games for Impact for the game As Dusk Falls, which is coming to PlayStation on March 7th and is available for pre-order tonight. Creative Director, Caroline Marshall. But what is she presenting? Is it just Games for Impact again? Or? Bonsoir everyone. Winning last year was definitely a highlight of my 22 years in the industry. Games for Impact is one of the most important yeah, categories like at the Game Awards. The games nominated this year offer unique and nuanced perspectives on topics that concern us all, from the climate crisis to cultural diversity. They broaden our horizons, foster empathy, and connect us as humans. In a world torn apart by divisions and intolerance, this is one of the most essential powers of our medium. Here are the outstanding nominees. Games for Impact. Thanks for the unveil. Legends says a traveler Chance will reunite seven. the peoples. What's the theme? Using this year yeah, to um, make an impact. Tia. It was cute. I never played the full release, but I did that preview. And also then. Yeah, I played a bit of it too. I have I I've also not gone back to the full game yet, but I really liked what I played to Chia. I hope Chia or Venba get it. Venba is probably gonna get it. Chia! No, Chia, surprising. Oh, that was a surprise. surprise. Goodbye, Volcano High there. Shuhei Yoshida, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they show the crowd, I'm like, alright, where's Jake? <laughs> I th I'm sure Jake is. I'm sure they sit Thank like you. the, the audience members, not like the people with the awards, like way in the back. Yeah. Who cannot be here, but I got yeah, the like Alan was fairly far back there. Be hard to of ourselves. I'd like to thank ourselves family for your trust and unbelievable talent. Jake says he's right here. A different Jake, and I think. Believing <laughs> in this crazy project. Thanks, and Jake. the entire population of New Caledonia who championed and embraced cheer all along. Thank you, Mercy Oleti. That's really a big deal for Chia to win an award, too, yeah. for everything yeah. that it was meant to be and all that, yeah. Okay, so. To everyone asking where Nintendo is, we don't know. We don't know. Hello. I know Doug Bowser's here, sitting, uh, preparing I'm for Salim. any I've potential award. I'm mainly known for my move. acting work in Raised by Wolves and Assassin's Creed Origins. But, 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 that is not why I'm here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, this is, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember watching the Game Awards when I was younger, so being up here now is like... <laughs> <laughs> Reggie! Yeah, he is there. <laughs> Look, I've, I've loved games all my life. Uh, I, I mean, I played them all my life, man. From it's our King only Hearts, confirmation we've gotten so far that he's there. <laughs> Golden Sun. Hey, Golden Sun mentioned. And it, it, it started with my dad, right? He got me into them. He understood, you know, that games are an art form. You know, it's a great space to enjoy and escape from the reality of the world. And he passed away a while back. And I'll tell you what, I'm still figuring it out. But four years ago, I decided that I needed to try and process my grief in a way that felt true to me and him. So I took the biggest risks of my life and through everything that I had in making a game, a, a piece of art that honored him, an ode to the people we have loved and lost. So, so the reason I'm here tonight is because with the love and support of a lot of people here, I'm gonna take another big risk and I'm gonna show you what we've been building. You know, I'm gonna offer you this game a game from my old man. I hope you like wow. it. Quite the that was a powerful speech. Yeah. That was a good speech. I, 
He said he was an actor, right? He was in Assassin's Creed Origins. Every story yes. begins the at the end character. of another. Each story carries with it the echoes of those that came before. We support a critical role. My Baba, and my Father. Scott. Your story was snatched yeah. away too soon. My name is Zhao, a shaman of Kinzera. Here, I seek my father's return. I love how quick and snappy a lot of these movement options look. Oh yeah. yeah. It feels very Metroidvania in a lot of its abilities. It does. It's just... Ooh. That's a Metroid like boss. Yeah. I cannot stop. I will not stop. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Show me you are ready. Ooh. Yeah, pretty soon. That That's soon. cool. Wow. Coming to Switch also. Yeah? Coming to everything, it looks like. That's cool. I'll keep an eye on that one. Everything except the Wii U, sadly. It's dope now, that too. A new Life is Strange, I'm sure. I was gonna yep. say, it looked like it was Life is Strange. Ninety-five. That was a good year when I was born. Yeah. <laughs> like Joey, don't make me feel old. <laughs> Oh, is it a horror game? Well, what is happening, yo? Colorado State something. or something? It's been 27 years, y'all. Why now? Because... We Lost made a promise. Lost Records. Interesting. Okay. That was Lost Very Records, a brand new world from the development team behind Life is Strange. Okay. Now we have a world premiere, a new look at a game based on an ongoing franchise of 18 years with over 850 million users worldwide. This entirely in-engine trailer shows off the blend between cartoon 3D graphics with hardcore action. Entirely in-engine. is the first Berserker. I've never heard of this. Me either. I was hoping it was just called If. <laughs> <laughs> if. Finally, I found you. Trampled by the one you trusted. Abandoned from your king. You thought you were a hero. This is no ordinary ghost. You'll have to risk your life. Tryhard Axe asked, so was anything important announced? Yes, the return of Crazy Taxi. And yeah, that's true. radio. <laughs> yeah. Sega's back. Yes. And that wasn't even half their announcements. You know, yeah, Streets of Rage. Yep. What were the other two? Like, Virtual Fighter, I think? Virtual Fighter. Uh, Streets of Rage. Oh, Streets of but... Rage. Looks good, right? We'll right go now it's time for our first performance by the Game Awards. No, Orchestra. I'm not kidding. Special edition tactician. This crazy one, Taxi though, is, is coming back. Bit of a twist. Yeah, we are not We're being to sarcastic about an upcoming like game crazy taxi. Yeah, that no good. one has heard yet. You might call it one of those world premieres, and this what? is a special one. It's written by one of the greatest video game composers of all time, the legendary Nobuo Utamatsu. Okay. Here is the Game Awards Orchestra led by Lauren Balfe with lead vocals from Lauren Allred debuting 
the theme song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Okay. From Good the job. next Final Fantasy. Yeah, okay. They've been the theme song from the next Final Fantasy remake. That's fair. Because yeah. our next copyright claim. Yeah, right. <laughs> Probably. Set for off of the flames. <laughs> yep. People ask me about side order, people ask me about how long until the end. People ask me about Metroid, and I'm like, prepare for disappointment. I don't think we'll be seeing this Splatoon DLC, but it, it's coming out in the spring, so we could. And how long to the end? Uh, at least another hour. Yeah. yeah. At least. yeah I'm gonna get more water. I ran out. <laughs> I'm gonna lock myself out like Joey. <laughs> It was actually a very good performance, so, like being honest. Yeah. Wow. Oh, a long note. You never sang again after that note. <laughs> <laughs> As a light, like really brightly in his face. <laughs> that ben, you was okay? a really funny shot. <laughs> what an absolutely beautiful song from Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is nominated for most anticipated game tonight. Thank you to Lauren Allred and Maestro Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. They will be back later to pay tribute to our Game of the Year nominees. Uh, yeah, fair. But that's not all we have tonight for Final Fantasy fans. There is DLC for 16 coming. We might get the trailer for that. What we've done, that set in stone. It's new Rogue so mode tell you, for Final Fantasy 16. Because the future has the power to change anything. Even the past. Great, we're putting Scottish people in these games now. Strap in, Newty. Things are about to get mighty interesting. Doesn't look like Final Fantasy at all. Just the... It's okay. What? It's it's Final Fantasy oh, content okay. Apex Legends. I did not expect okay. that. That's a, not at all what I expected. Tom, you missed it. That's Tom, you missed it. You missed what I missed? Time four. Final Just kidding. Fantasy it was Rebirth comes a Final Fantasy Apex crossover Legends with Apex on Legends. On January 9th, and that key art you just saw was drawn by Nomura-san himself. Thank you so much for that incredible I was thinking, now why does this look like a Borderlands crossover? A few more crossover. awards selected by the fans and our voting jury. In, In the category of Best Score and Music, the nominees are Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, High Fire oh, Rush, and The Legend of Zelda I don't even know. I think it's going to be Alan Wake 2. And the Game Award goes to... Or High Fire Rush, again. Final oh, Fantasy yeah. 16. They just did a whole oh. Final Fantasy so segment like on music and stuff. So I don't. I don't know. No, so it there we go. I said Cocoon. Let's see who wins. Dredge, if Dave the Diver wins, we riot. And Viewfinder. And the game award it, goes it to it Sea of can't. Stars. Oh, well, well earned. Congrats, also great. Here are the nominees for good. Best Community, best community support. support. Baldur's Gate 3. Cyberpunk 2077, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy I think Fantasy it's going to go to Baldur's Gate 3. And No Man's Sky. Yeah, I think so. And the game award goes to Baldur's yep. Gate 3. 
Congratulations, yeah. Lariat. Its whole right. story relates Dominates to its community, right? Game. Wasn't Those it in early God access Rock. for like three years? Yeah. 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 Best fighting game. We know what Jake wants. <laughs> I think it's probably going to be Mortal Kombat. I think it's going to be Street Fighter 6. And the game award this year goes to... Yeah. Street Fighter oh, yeah. 6. There you go. Congrats, Capcom. All right. I think Jake wanted that to win more than the game. Your nominees this year were Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I think it's going to be Final Hades Fantasy VII. Like a Dragon, yeah. Infinite Wealth. Yeah. Star I don't get why this is a category. This is such Tekken a dumb Hades. category. And the game this needs to be one that like fans voted. Which, which game marketed Final itself the best? Yeah. yeah, basically. Congratulations, yep. Square and Nomura. Which game spent the most money team. so far? The Silk Song Kong wasn't in it. Rail, a winner it's tonight not, for best it's not a date. No. It's a good point. This space fantasy RPG yeah, filled no with date. myths and legends is set for more <laughs> intergalactic expeditions in 2024. And tonight, we have an exclusive look at Penokane, the next destination. Mm, okay. Hoyoverse. Do you still remember it? Fables about the stars. So it's stories tell of what is and what was. So by Genshin its creators, because it's Toyoverse. Yeah. New. You'd think Genshin Impact would be nominated for Games for Impact. It has impact in the title. Yes, exactly. God damn. It. Nice camera. <laughs> For those wondering in the chat, last year, just for, for context, last year Nintendo announced Bayonetta Origins, had a 30 second clip of the Mario movie, and announced a DLC for Fire Emblem Engage before it was even out. So they, they had three announcements and three things last year. Um, so yes, Nintendo does tend to bring things to the Game Awards sometimes. <laughs> it's like roughly, I think, Two thirds of the time, maybe three fifths of the time, but there's, they've gone multiple years and they had nothing to. Yeah. So, so far we had a, a sweepstakes for uh, uh, a, a, a yeah. trip for four to Super Nintendo World. I That's suspect it. this will be a nothing here. I think so too. I'm expecting. I think nothing. if we get anything, it's a trailer for Princess Peach Showtime. Welcome to Penicone. Maybe. Young lady. If that. May I ask your name? Or another code. Since that's what the was that release. camera angle? <laughs> A nominee tonight for best mobile game, Monster Hunter Now is the new mobile game from Niantic and Capcom. Like all Niantic's like, games, I love Monster how aggressive Hunter the logo is. is. Monster the Hunter Now! <laughs> they have a special game <laughs> event going on right now with new monsters, new weapons, and special free game items for new players to join the hunt. It's available now for iPhone ha, ha. and Android. So check it, it out. Yeah. Monster Hunter Now. Coming up, we've got an exclusive new look at the new Fallout series. We'll be right back. Like, this is a commercial. Oh, that's, Why? That's wait, I saw Fall Guys. Well, they're falling. I think yeah. it's just an epic ad. Yeah, I think it is just an epic ad. You're gonna turn that down then. <laughs> the uh, yep. The uh, Fallout clip is probably gonna get claimed when that happens. So quick, Andre, if you have Smash, that'll be one to put that one up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, it's already a lost cause, Tris. <laughs> There's no saving the stream. It's all, it's all copyrighted. I know, Lily. There are, there are too many ad breaks. Which is ironic, because the things that's breaking up are also ads. <laughs> yep. We I could see hope. the Knuckle Show or Sonic Movie. Well, maybe not Sonic Movie 3 news, but we could see news for the, for the Knuckle Show. I think, it's not impossible. Yeah, I think we could see that, definitely. Sorry, Tom. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, I only hope the audience gets to see this commercial, too. I hope they don't miss <laughs> out. Yeah. Probably plays on the big screen behind them. Yeah. How many awards are left? Oh, that's a great question. But no it's, not like, it's not like they're spacing these out evenly. No, so. that's true. No. Uh, Little Seal says, anyone play Avatar yet? I haven't, I want to. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow, or over the weekend at least. <laughs> okay, here you go, Joey. Camus says, show Metro Prime 4 already, lol. I don't want to wait anymore. <laughs> That's been me for like the past four years. Abort, abort, you're not getting it. <laughs> it's not coming tonight, sorry. No. Yeah, not tonight, not tonight. Oh, this game's actually coming out. Right. Metroid Prime 4 isn't real. Let's be real. 
Three player co op is such an odd number. It is. Right? It literally is an odd number. <laughs> like. Yeah, like, what else? I guess, uh, wasn't there a Zelda game, Triforce, Triforce Heroes? Heroes? Yeah, yeah. Triforce Heroes. That was also weird then, too. I still don't believe this game is coming out. Well, it has a date now. I know, and I don't yeah. believe it. It had how many dates now? Maybe two? That's fair. <laughs> <coughs> Delayed many nice. times. Premium edition three days early. Are we back? Your three player co op three days early. We're at the Game Awards, and that was a new look at Skull and Bones from Ubisoft, which is coming out on February 16th. I'm happy to announce that players can register now for the upcoming closed beta from December 15th to 18th on all platforms. And now it's time for the announcement of the next game from the studio that won Best Game Direction in 2021. You could just tell us the studio. <laughs> yeah, you could just right. say the name. Ah, uh, Deathloop, okay. Who did behind Deathloop? Dishonored 3. Deathloop 2. Relax, man. I don't bite. <sighs> Lock up tight now. He's a vampire. Night's just getting started. Yeah, Blade. Blade. Oh, snap. Marvel Snap. Twist. Amazing. There you go. <laughs> Joining me now are Tinga Bacaba from Arcane Leon and Bill Roseman from Marvel to tell us how did this come together, guys? Well, Jeff, let me tell you, the secret superpower of Marvel games is our constant focus on bringing together world-class talent with the fan favorite characters that they love. Now, we are huge fans of Arcane Leon, not only because Arcane of the story just made a game about vampires with innovative <laughs> gameplay, but because of their authentic passion. And that's why, on Blade's 50th anniversary, uh -huh. we are so honored to announce this true Marvel team-up. Yes, and uh, after Dishonored and Deathloop, our first order of business was to make another very arcane game, but with a title that's easier to say game. in French accent. And uh, when we had, you know, when Sébastien Miton and I had an opportunity to chat with Marvel, I said, okay, let's really challenge them. Let's present our wildest take on a superhero that we both love. And we ate it up. <laughs> I mean, the arcane touch fits Blade like his trademark trench coat. And I mean, think about it. It's, it's a mature action adventure game, single player, where you get to play Blade your way. Hmm. For true believers, it's a dream come true. Very excited to learn more. Uh, Dingo, why this character? Well, he's the daywalker. Uh, Eric Brooks is half man, half vampire, torn between the warm society of the living and the rushing power of the undead. And uh, as a kid of mixed origins, uh, his dual heritage resonated with me. So yes, it is a dream to be making a game <laughs> about Blade in Paris, my hometown. You know, if... <laughs> well, if... <laughs> If my hometown was walled in, and we shared it with bloodthirsty invaders that come out as soon as the sun goes down, ça serait un petit peu la merde, quand même. <laughs> Anything else you can tell us about the game? I know it's pretty early, right? Uh, I can tell you one thing. Okay. One thing. Uh, the entire team at Arcane Lyon is, you know, pouring so much love into this immersive third-person action-adventure okay, set in the heart of Paris. Yeah. So oh, please person. sit back. Okay. They Let always us cook. do first-person games. And voila! Mm. Merci beaucoup! Yeah. Merci! <laughs> <laughs> Kicks the camera. 
Stunts too. Ding a bell. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Great announcement. All right. We awesome. got a super Thanks chat from Ari. Thank you so now, much. Is, is it me or does the host sound like Jimmy Kimmel? I've never made that connection, but I hear Anthony it. Mackie. A little bit if you listen to it. Yeah, yeah the energy is a little similar, I think. The delivery. All right. Twisted Metal something from the show? Oh, from the show Twisted Metal. Yeah, that show's good. Yeah. That was a I good show. That. Yeah, it's Captain America. Thank oh, wow. Well, I actually That's never made that connection. Hey, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched Twisted Metal on Peacock. And, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, I have one thing to do before I get on to the award Is I'm it, supposed to represent up here. Best adaptation? Okay? That'd be weird, because he's in it. No, he's not in it, in that category, is he? Okay, oh, all right, he is, I yeah, know I say a lot of different nominated. things. You can't so scream can't them all. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> now, no one knows this yet, so you three guys, and everybody else is going to be the first. Because of our incredible fans, Twisted Metal is coming back for season two on Peacock. So, so. Good announcement. They better after that clip, Redmond, after that ending. Because you're going on another <laughs> yeah. ride with John Doe. You look great. You they really built it up. So. Right you guys look great. Keep it going, baby. I don't trust this dude, but y'all look great. Don't you yell at me. I love you more. I love you. Crowd going crazy. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> okay, stop it. You. Okay. Love you too. He is acting like Will Smith. He hasn't slapped anyone he yet. Is. Not yet. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Today. <laughs> The best games are like living universes, constantly expanding the kind of crowd with so new shocked. content and challenges, right? And that's what this award for best ongoing game recognizes. Oh, no, yeah, okay. Best the ongoing that speech. That continue to deliver fresh right? <laughs> in their loyal community. Well, we know who gets that one. <laughs> yeah, true. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Light always pierces through. Did my daylight better be here? I don't think it is. I don't remember here. I don't think it is either. It should be though. Time on twenty seventy seven. I guess is an ongoing game. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I know what I want. <laughs> How many times has Fortnite won this category? Yeah, too many. It's probably gonna win I again. Think, I, I think Genshin yeah. actually wins this one a lot. Oh, does it? I, I think I'll be honest. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I get so many cool points with my sons for this moment. Um, all right, so the game award goes to, shut up, shut up. Cyberpunk 2077. That's surprising. Yeah. Good for them, honestly, that's surprising. Well, I guess when you release a half uh, oh, yeah, game, you can make an ongoing game out of it for the next few years. Wow. Although, aren't they kind of done with updates now? Yeah, it, that, that game does not feel like one of those ongoing games, you know? No, it doesn't. It's yeah. Been. Holy. Now they're working on live games service awesome. games. This is an incredible. Auto Final Fantasy XIV gets it next year when, launched, when the next expansion, the expansion comes out. Should Mario Kart be nominated for doubling his track count? And, uh, <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> like, it could have. The tenacity and the resilience of the team and just wanting to bring forward stories that impact. Worlds that are immersive, you know, the world being immersive, and of course the gameplay just being fun, fun as hell. I, this is an exciting team. We accept this on behalf of hundreds of people who put their hearts and souls in it, the two of us here. Please, Sasuke, including this guy here, please say something. <laughs> and I mean, I, I have to include here our amazing players. They've been with us throughout the whole journey, gave us feedback, made funny memes, videos, <laughs> you know, wrote posts on Twitter, on Reddit, it was amazing, you know, to see the reception of the players when they were actually getting all of those updates. Just recently we shipped update 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077, and it's for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. BP in the chat says Cyberpunk 2077 finally won something. <laughs> Dang. True. That is true. Congratulations, guys. Our next guest has worked on some truly memorable way. games over the past 20 years, like GTA V, Bully, Need for Speed, Underground, ah. and the Red Dead Redemption series. Now he leads a new studio, Lightspeed LA. Steve C. Martin is here to unveil a brand new project. Steve, 
Thanks, Jeff. Great to have you here. You showed, it, showed this to me earlier this year. Uh, tell us a bit about it. It's an honor to be here, so thanks for having us. Over the past few years at Lightspeed LA, myself and a remarkable team of over 200 talented, diverse industry veterans and fresh new talent have been in deep development on a fully original, AAA, futuristic open world game. As yeah, so Lucas, no, it started about two hours really ago. We're really excited to offer you all a sneak peek. You missed the return of, of Crazy Taxi. On. I'm, and Jet Set Radio. I'm so excited and to share so much more page. with you in the future. Oh, oh, but for now, I, don't I hope you all enjoy this first taste. Amazing. Let's take a look, Steve. Here we go. Give me the taste. Tear it open. This robot. Mommy's gonna die. He's dead. I'm Get wrecked. Mommy, Your mom's dead. Now, going, <laughs> oh. Going to be okay. The demon is here. What the heck? That's not reassuring. That's not reassuring at all. He just shot the camera and it bled. Yes. <laughs> Cameras bleed nowadays. <laughs> shot the cameraman! <laughs> Follow me. Last See, the thing about CGI trailers with original games is just like they tell me nothing. Yeah. Yeah. They no idea. Third-person shooting game. Like, but if you told me that was Ghost Runner, I would have believed you. <laughs> Lift your head. Now this environment looks like Death Stranding. Yep. It does kind of, but but I don't oh, think it's that it is. Capcom yeah. game that was announced like. Only. Chris Carpenter in the chat saying amazing song from Dark. <laughs> yes. Get it together, Robbie. Fate always tests us. You have to fight until the end. I'll find you. Yo, what a grappling hook. The first descendant. Hmm. Okay. That is certainly a title of a game. <laughs> that was the first descendant, which is launching the summer of 2024 like Nexon. from Nexon. Now we have a new look at Hoyo versus next big game, Zenless Zone Zero, an urban fantasy ARPG. I had my eye on this one for a while. We had it at Gamescom, and we're excited Zenless to unveil Zone their Zero. latest announcement. That's like right the here sequel to TGI. B for Vendetta. Yeah. <laughs> And the Hoya first three game. times fast. Yeah, right. Ooh, doggo. <laughs> it's literally called ZZZ. Big Monga said, yep. <laughs> Appropriate for two hours into the show. Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now this is very different from the rest of the Hoyoverse games. You can already see that. Yeah. Be a shark. <laughs> Coming soon in twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four is soon. Shockingly soon. Dude, Star Fox? I was thinking, uh, maybe Gunna Blade, so, uh, X. Yeah. yeah. This sounds like Gundam. That would be the more accurate guess. I don't know, if you, if you show me something with giant necks, I'm gonna assume Gundam. Oh man, Granton, if they show Titanfall 3 here, game of the, it's like best game awards ever. Why well, these... Uh, the studio head is there. That's true, he is there. Also, they've been updating Titanfall 2 lately for no apparent reason. Yep. <laughs> okay. Just saying, nah. Combat in this looks very fast paced and a bit hard to keep up with. But, but is cool. the game going to be in widescreen? Like, I, 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 if I want a movie, I'll watch a movie. <laughs> I think it's just for the trailer. Mecha break. We brought in gamers to demo the latest gun. Cyberpunk update. Could have fooled me. But we haven't told them what they're playing on. Let's see what happens when they find out. This looks amazing. Ray tracing is beautiful. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> What do you think? Let me guess, let me guess, they're playing on the like cloud. 4090? 40 yeah. series? They're actually playing on a Chromebook Plus. Oh my wow. god. Streaming on You're Force actually playing now. Doom 1993 oh oh on a Chromebook <laughs> Plus. Just <laughs> that's ray tracing now. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I want to see the original Doom with ray tracing. Hey, this weekend for, I think it's Doom's 30th anniversary, John Carmack and John Romero are going to have like a live stream. The tide oh, of oh that's great. I'm, I'm glad, glad they too much their beast. I, I don't think they had any, but I, they don't have any beef, but it's neat. We need valiant soldiers to take on. Uh, I want to point out that Jake has not messaged us about any rise in the population meter. Uh, it's not, not good. No blows to look good. I don't know. He likes. He li I think he likes this game. It's Hell Divers. Yeah, maybe we'll hear a message soon. And he did see the weapon. Justice League game earlier, or not the, yeah. the Suicide Squad game. Jake, just Jake just in the chat done. says, I'm still here. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Join the fight for I, would, I would love it if Jake actually was watching our live stream rather than the Game Awards show he's actually at. <laughs> <laughs> that would tell us a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what Where is your you life? My yeah, I forgot I could turn this down. This is ads again. Yeah. Is this Space Marine 2? Yeah, I feel we've seen this one a few times. It has an ad. A lot of these kind of run together. That's what usually yeah. happens to me at the Game Awards. <laughs> I swear to God, I've heard the same narrator like four times. Probably. My pledge is eternal service. Oh, we got a release date. Okay, okay. Space Marine games are pretty much Gears of War, but set in the Warhammer universe. So. Okay, no, I love an actual now we new have Gears a of War. special surprise Same. for you. Special surprise. Live and exclusively here at the Game Awards. Welcome, welcome, gods? welcome. Mm. I yes. am your host, Wallendor, and I present to you the old gods of Asgard featuring this the segment is made for me. Alan Wake. <laughs> this is well, then I hope you enjoy it. Herald of Darkness. Yes. I'm surprised he's here. And they're playing the best song from the game. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh my god, they have Alan Wake there. He's Dude, there! I didn't think they were gonna do this, but they're doing it! So the spoilers for me, but I'll... It's okay. <laughs> and he's lip syncing it. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm so mad I'm not here there right now. You gotta text Jake, you better be enjoying this. <laughs> for your sake. I'm telling Alan, who's there right now, like, I hate you. I love this. Is this from the game? Yes, straight up. It's pretty good for catchy. It's like done differently in the game, but like, it's so good. Man, I really can't wait to finish this game. Man, this isn't, this part's not too far in the game. It's um, the fourth, the fourth Alan Wake chapter. I've only done like the, the, the opening. Ended in the morgue. I have been blasting this song in my car for the better <laughs> half of a month. That's awesome. I've actually got the actors to do the, these parts. That's so great. That's so, that's so cool. Yes. I hope he does his slam poetry. Oh my gosh. Is there a segment in the song? Like that? Yes. Oh, sweet. Send me a video. Shut up, Alan. <laughs> wow, Mr. Wake himself. <laughs> he legit dressed like Alan Wake for this. Oh my god, they have they got Sam Wake up there. Well, they didn't do the, they're not doing the slam poetry then. Dang it. Got up from his seat in the crowd to get up here. <laughs> well, because he's actually in this part in the game, too. That's funny. That was cool. Yeah. That was very cool. <laughs> Did you get the uh, slam poetry, though? No, no slam poetry. It makes me sad. I, I need the guy in the armor to like get on stage and explain oh, it. I, I'm so Explain curious. yourself. The the He's the Larian Studios head. So. Ben Starr yeah. keeps getting shined Stanley, by Gravity, that light. Epic, the cast and everyone involved to bring that performance to life. Something that was really cool, that see performance, right actually. On the Game Awards. Now it's time for an update wow. on the game we'll we announced the back at TGA does not do that song 2017. Justice. A game announced at TGA 2017? That was rude. Your shed seems story. <laughs> Ever just leaves. I didn't know. I didn't know this was announced in 2017. And that's yeah, crazy. crazy. God, it's been a long time. I think it's been in early access for a while. Oh, okay. We have lived it so it's not like we've had no lives. updates on this game since then. Though. Right. We have died Could you imagine? Times. Another game like Metroid Prime 4, no we updates in that time? Actually, Metroid Prime 4 had an update in that time. They restarted Georgia. development. Yep. We are now and they said right before they announced Metroid Dread, oh yeah, we're still working on Prime 4, but in the meantime, the here's end. Metroid 5. One final battle. Okay. 
didn't really tell me much about the game, but no, it's like a free a... weekend on Steam. It's a PBE game. Ah, oh, okay. Joining me now is Ulf from Ten Chambers. Wrong. Crazy, that was six years ago we announced uh, GTFO, and that's the final chapter. You've got a free weekend on Steam. Looks fantastic, but I think there's a little something more you're also working on, right? Yeah, first of all, I have to say thank, me for, thank you for having me again. Of course. And uh, you delicious man, you. <laughs> this suit is fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. You look good, what? too. Yeah, Your yeah, games yeah. look great. So. Anyway. All right. Uh, yeah, we're working on something new. Yeah. And uh, it's Jeff like is like, sorry, man, you're not Kojima. Like, <laughs> like all our projects are. And this you were one, known for payday, things like that. So back, yes. back some heist stuff? I, I guess. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I guess, we're back he said. a heist game again. And it's sort of a, a, a sci-fi thing that I've been dreaming up since I was a kid, basically. So it says yes, and, yeah, yes it's, in disguise. You know, <laughs> just what it is. The world. Good old Joseph Yes, Fair. we should. You've been working on this for a number of years. Yes. I'm so yeah. excited. It's Someone's finally make time up, to check out the new game from Ulf and Ten Chambers. Here we go. Mr. Camera turns off. Jeff's like, get away. <laughs> Cancel the reservation. Reset the procedure. Continued neuro prodding may save Wait, we've seen this before, haven't we? Reset the procedure. I don't, yes, I don't know what this is. Feels familiar. It's just so many of the games, the game awards look the same. Yeah. Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Let's continue. Huh. What are you hoping to find in the next essentials? You mother. There's no use in fighting. I will get Watch what your I language. Want. Uh, so that's how you found out about our Akajima fault. What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? Yes! What's the key for? <laughs> it's not what, Mr. Bowman. It's who? You see, just like me, you're caught here. You're caught in the den of wolves. I don't, I don't feel like I really learned much about it there, but okay. I mean, at least they showed some gameplay, kind of. Just first person. Did you get it? Oh. Yeah. I'm getting into the uh, super long kind of blending together. Everything blends together stage of the yeah, game awards. The, the middle yep. three hour portion of the yeah. game awards. Is this another? Yeah. Okay. I need to. Uh, is that is that uh uh what's his name? Jamie Lannister? Oh, that does look like him. That's right. Is this is Fortnite? They're on the bus. Oh wow. the apocalypse okay not gameplay that is definitely <laughs> that a title of a video Born. game i met with the team at gamescom to take a look at that upcoming tactical open world extraction shooter and the project is led by some of the creators of the division and besides facing other words. players and warring factions vertical yes. gameplay as you saw in the i haven't heard experience so much the potential so. players exo rigs to help games industry is evolving as they say much more is coming <laughs> In 2024, you say on Exo Now, please welcome the voice of Loki in Asgard's Wrath 2, one of the most ambitious and anticipated VR games yet, Matt Mercer. We're going to we're making a uh, VR game. 
<laughs> it's Ganondorf. Wow, it's, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. wow, it's Ganondorf I on stage. <laughs> so beyond excited to show you this trailer for our Asgard's Wrath 2. The voice of Ganondorf from Tears of the Kingdom. Working with the Sanzaru team mm -hmm. and bringing Loki to life. It's just been absolutely amazing. And uh, after playing Asgard's Wrath 2 as a lifelong gamer, a I'm yeah. honestly <laughs> blown away. So uh, I'm honored to be a part of this franchise and want to thank everyone at Sanzaru Games, at Oculus Studios, and MetaQuest. So, without further ado, let's enjoy the trailer for Asgard's Wrath 2. Big Munga said, to be fair, he only had about four lines. The yeah. gods take everything from oh, the Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Bleed these lands dry. Yo, girl, we should move. <laughs> Lots of arrows it's coming your way. Nice spirits, spears. Thank passage. God that hippo showed his way. Right. Turn worlds to ash. It's like hungry, hungry hippos the game. <laughs> yeah, that's a true video game adaptation we're missing. Yes. We'll get the movie now first and then the game. <laughs> of course. Hopefully. So this one we saw that um, the universe uh, Facebook one with, uh, presentation. Oh, right. Yeah, the meta class. What was it, six months ago? Yeah, like these that. You will grow I remember that. The gameplay looks satisfying as long as it does. It totally does. Oh, dutiful guardian, Oof. here to right your wrongs. Oh my god, VR fishing! I know, it's the same thing, like fishing! <laughs> That's how you know it's a good game. Yeah, where's the fishing stars. in Tears of the Kingdom? That's why it doesn't deserve game of the year. Seriously. When they made Breath of the Wild, they were like, you know what we don't need in Zelda anymore? Fishing. That's Did a it feel like, like a giant fishing rod to catch like monster fish? I know. I want the next Zelda to be based around like a giant fishing pond. Like it's the biggest yeah. fishing pond in the world. <laughs> yeah, instead of like, uh, you know, the catch being Ocarina, Ultra Hand, no, it's just 100% fishing. <laughs> you have fish rinds. It's great. great when you buy a Meta Quest 3. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's at that. Foolish mortals, oblivious to the chaos that awaits you just outside. I'll see you sooner than you think. <laughs> With uh, Steam made it official recently where you can hook up your it's Meta Quest It's been an amazing year, not just oh, for games, nice. but for adaptations of, of the games we oh, love. Adaptations. Right now, we have an exclusive look at the highly Lost anticipated new series, oh, yeah, Fallout. Fallout. I haven't watched the trailer yet for this. I heard it looks good. Oh. It, it does look good, I will say. Hello there. Now how about we turn on some lights? Oh, dude. Lots of bears in this showcase. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, gotta hand it to him. Well, you know what? No bears for a best romance. In the world. War never changes. Oh, he, they said the thing. How'd that look compared to the full trailer that came out? That, that was literally clips from that trailer. From I think. Yeah. Please welcome Aaron Moten, Ella Purnell, and Walton Goggins. Wow. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Okay, there we go. What's up, <laughs> well, uh, I hope you don't mind. We brought a little extra security. Thank you for having us, and we are incredibly excited for you all to see Fallout on Prime this April. But our real honor tonight is that we're here to hand out the award for Best Adaptation. Come on, Mario movie! It's not going to win, but I wanted to. <laughs> I think it could win. Well, I think it'd probably be Last of Us. It won yeah, the most the important thing, Bo the box <laughs> office. <laughs> yes. Oh! Hey! Jonathan Nolan, Mr. Howard! Oh my Good Todd. Catch, buddy. Oh yeah, my gosh. You should probably hurry this up. I don't think he can breathe in there. Yeah, how you doing, big man? Okay. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, so this year, video games and film and television were bigger and better than ever before. 
Here are the nominees for Best Adaptation. Come on, Mario movie. Best Adaptation. A vampire messiah will come. I pray for you, Victor Belmont. All I ever wanted to do is I, be If Grand Turismo won... <laughs> There's no taking this seriously. My father going on. This. No That's a fitting line for the award. I hope Mario wins. That's where the cars and guns come in. Come on. Right. Getting it. Oh, wow, wow. Uh, the best game goes to. Best game adaptation. The Last hey. of Us. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Yeah, my prediction's right. right. He said the best game goes to. <laughs> yeah, they screwed up. <laughs> it's accurate, though. That basically was the game. <laughs> Okay, clock's ticking. Uh, <laughs> One of my friends my just partner, messaged me. He's very Craig upset. Mason is Bye, watching Mario movie Canada, getting ready for season two. <laughs> uh, huge thank out to our Night Dog family. This wouldn't exist without all your incredible hard work. Uh, big thanks to HBO and the support they've given. Never us. enough things about of the Last of Us show to, to know that it is deserving of awards. It was kind yeah. of yeah. the so other much. one that people were thinking uh, was going to win it. We also want to thank our partners at Sony yeah, Pictures. The chat is just, uh, just so mad, and I'm like, I'm sorry, all the show was better. Than the Mario movie. And everyone at PlayStation. Thanks so much. Thank I don't you. agree with that, but I feel like I prefer the I prefer the game to the TV show. So I feel like it's hard to compare. I mean, the writing of the Mario movie wasn't that great. <laughs> I'm, well, I mean, they're going pretty, for two pretty completely cool different people things. Didn't like Mario that much. I thought the writing was fine in the Mario movie for what it was. I remember, critically, critics didn't like the Mario movie that much. It was all yeah. like the the fans that did. Which is exactly yeah, why the last one was going to win that category. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw a good tweet from my friend, or uh, that my friend retweeted, which is, this rock opera performance is making me question how much I thought I knew about what Alan Wake is about. Oh, <laughs> seriously. Like I said, that game is weird. Uh, is this the longest Game Awards? No, I don't think so. No. Every Game Awards is the longest Game Awards. Yeah, we're not at the three-hour mark yet. We are almost if you count the pre-show. Yeah, pre-show is good. If you count the pre-show, yeah, we're coming up on it. This is quite the ad for Monster Hunter now. It's like an AR Monster Hunter? Yeah, it's it's the the mobile game. Like Pokemon Go. When I was younger, struggling with who I was, what my place was, I took a lot of. Is this future? Is this another future class? Put it into. Yeah, yeah. because this is the second time they had something future class. I remember they had a lot bigger presence in previous shows. Yeah, they did. But if this is only the second time we've seen someone from future class, I don't know how I feel about that. A woman named Mary. Is that either means we're not too far into the show, life, or they're that, not covering them as much. The rest uh, of it. Probably not as much. Whenever someone tells me that they've cried from something that I've made, it's always when people cry is where I feel, yes, I want to keep doing that. I want to keep making people feel things. I want to keep making people cry. You know there's easier ways to make people cry than making games. No Man's Sky was 10 years ago? It was announced 10 years ago, yeah, at VGX. Um, and then it came out like three years later, I think. Was that the same year as uh, Shamu 3 being announced? I think that was. No, later. that was two years later. Oh, okay. Wow. VGX, that No Man's Sky was announced at the same show, Cranky Kong was revealed. So Shop Freeze. Oh, wow. If y'all want to talk about bad shows, go back to that. Whoa. Uh, at least I was able to enjoy that like in an ironic fashion. Right. Like, it was entertainingly bad. Yeah. 
Wow, No Man's Sky has really come a long way, hasn't it? Yeah, they added a lot. Did here. not realize. Was it ATST? Looks like it. And it's on Switch. There you go, y'all. Nintendo's here. What's next for No Man's Sky? Star Fox crossover. <laughs> like Starlink. <laughs> Let's make it the exact same thing. <laughs> That right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean wow. Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling in 2024, but what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it. But what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Oh, uh, another game. Yeah, oh. something very different, something we maybe something more ambitious. Okay. Um, you know, for... Uh, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> more Tell ambitious than it, No Josh. Man's Sky. Okay. Uh, no, no, well, more ambitious than no Sky, Kojima. Generated <laughs> yeah. universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. And that wasn't easy, you know, it was hard, but there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and continents, you know, you can see oceans. So is this like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're going to let everyone the first play real open together. world? It's, you know, a place where people can live out their sort of yeah. adventures together. That's going to be hard to fill up. Well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, you know, it's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Uh, we're, s uh, we're very excited <laughs> to share this. You and I have been talking about this one for years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited if, you know, if people like it. This is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, okay. so Game Awards 2033. I'm going to be nervous based on how Man's no, Sky uh, Let's was take a look. Launch. This is such an yeah. incredible project, and I'm honored that we get to show it off. Should we, should we do it, Sean? Yeah, let's All do right. it. What Here we it, go. Then? Ooh. A multiplayer Earth. A procedural Earth? Oh, you lost me at procedural. <laughs> Fantasy. Yeah, I guess how are you going to do it, right? The captions have clearly won Triss over. <laughs> all, all footage. No, it just has me curious. Yeah, no. These are... I, I will say the first image, I'm like, oh, it has an art style. This looks interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not many games have art style. <laughs> okay, now we get like Avatar vibes. Okay, this is how the first No Man's Sky trailer opened up, though, coming out of water like that. Oh, is it? Yeah. I just wanted to fly a hummingbird. Not a dragon. About a dragon, thing. yeah. <laughs> Lame. Dragons are overdone. Brian says finally actual gameplay at the Game Awards. Good point, actually. They deserve accolades for this. Yeah. Only 12 people are working on this. Well, I'll be, I want to play as a rabbit, rabbit community. There, there, there was a player that had the rabbit look too. So there we go. Probably could. Oh. Like 
no Light, fire. No fire. Okay, but that symbol looks exactly like No Man's Sky symbol. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Remember, that comes from an independent team. Absolutely incredible. I've been waiting for years to show that to oh, you. Oh, now and, Jeff uh, knows again, what independent means. Team of Hello Game. <laughs> so, uh, very, very exciting. Very oh. exciting to, uh, see games like that. Oh, Andre, they made the amends. Dave the Diver to, uh, blended with Dredge. All right. <laughs> now join me in welcoming to the stage actor Simu Liu. I forgot he was going to be here. Your leg, Simu. Got, got injured What's lately. What's up, everybody? Was it on the How set of Shang Chi Two. My God, there's so many of you. you guys all look Is so, that filming now? So beautiful. Um, I don't know. <laughs> all right, first off, I want to address the Marbles elephant in the room. Um, my foot's fine, you guys. I I did tear my Achilles. Uh, I wasn't riding a dragon. I was playing pickup basketball in Miami. I wish, I wish there were a better story to this, you guys, but the story is this. Um, you know, as you age, as you get older, you know, particularly as you cross the 30 threshold, ah. your body starts to break down, all right? Things start happening, um, unless you're Anthony Mackie, for whom I think the laws of aging don't apply. <laughs> I think I was really um, saying, like, Donnie, yeah, guys, just, 60. If you're not Anthony it's Mackie, like, learn to appreciate what? the importance of stretching, yeah. all right? It's very important. Um, just keeping it real at the Game Awards, all right? Now, I'm, I'm here to share something that I'm, I'm really, really excited about. He is 60. I recently got a chance to team up with Frost Giant on their new real-time strategy game, Stormgate. Now, RTS is a genre that I was absolutely obsessed with as a kid. I loved building armies and obliterating my enemies in Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, and of course, my absolute all-time favorite game, StarCraft. Ah, fair. Yes. Okay. So happy you guys cheered for that. Um, now, if Kim you've Curry been destroyed by carriers and void rays on BNet stuff. at any point over the past 10 Spice. years, that was definitely your boy. Uh, and that's why I am so excited for Stormgate. Look, it's a noob strat, I understand, all right? But I loved it. Look, that's why I love Stormgate. It was made by a team of ex-StarCraft developers who are just as obsessed with RTS as I am. And in addition to competitive and co-op modes in the game, it's got an ongoing campaign that was written by Frost Giant with a little help from the legendary Chris Metzen. And so, yes, I brought a little bit of gameplay for y'all and the first reveal of a pretty badass new character who uh, I may or may not have gotten to voice. <laughs> may or may That's not. It'd be really funny if he doesn't. <laughs> It'd be really funny if he does all this presenting and no, he has He doesn't. He doesn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still don't know if McConaughey was in that game that he's exactly. not being. <laughs> exactly. It's the Matthew McConaughey movie. Oh my god, it's a Zubat. It is too late, my friend. What in God's name have we done? Oh, you took his name in vain and now he's upset, okay? Oh. I hate it when that happens, right? Every time, you think they'd learn. Okay, so it's unless you're friends with multiplayer. Felt like a Zerg being rush gone wrong. <laughs> Team early access next summer. Fight. Strong game. Power. Either way, your world will fall. Stormgate sounds like a super from the boys. <laughs> yes. Her, oh. There was Stormfront, right? Yeah, there was. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> See? <laughs> Pretty good, right? <laughs> and, uh, and now it's time to hand out the next award. Here are the nominees for Best Action Adventure Game. Best Action Adventure. Best okay. Action Adventure Game. You are the killer. I don't want to be in the story. There's one of those categories where here's the nominated for right, and if it loses, there's no way it wins Game of the Year. I don't know. Sometimes, yeah, a lot of the times, Best Action Adventure wins Game of the Year, except if you're Metroid Dread, which was yep. such crap, but very weird. Yeah. It takes two Game of the Year. No. I think we have three Game of the Year contenders in this. It'd be so weird if none of them won. Yeah. I think it'll be Zelda. Game Award goes to... No surprise here. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yes! Going for the gameplay. Yep. That's one award. 
So that means it's probably going to beat Spider-Man and Resident Evil in Game of the Year then. But there's still Baldur's Gate 3 and Ellen Wake right. 2. Yeah. I love that the camera is controlled by a drone <laughs> down there. I'm so glad to be able to be here to accept this reward this award on behalf of everyone who worked together to create this game. Everyone on the development team truly uh, uh, gave their all in, in making this game the best that it could be. Everyone's unique approach to playing this game uh, can become their own personal story uh, as an adventure through the lands of Hyrule. And to all the players, you have my sincere thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey. So both of Nintendo's Game of the Year nominees have won an award now, so... Yep. Yeah. Price is like, I'd like to thank Monolith Soft. Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Anuma. And I am happy now to announce winners in a few more categories oh, at the Game other Awards. Categories. Here are the nominees for Best RPG. Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy 16, Lies of P, Sea of Stars, oh, and Starfield. Sea of Stars, and the or, or Baldur's Award Gate 3. Goes to yeah. No, it's going to be Starfield. Okay, yep. So, <laughs> there we go. I think, I, I think it's going to be our Game of the Year, maybe. For best Sim yeah. strategy game. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. City Sky Pick and Four. Pikmin was. Pikmin Pikmin Four should not be here. Emblem Engage and yeah. Pikmin Four. And the game award goes to. Wow. Yo, what? Three winners. Okay. Nice. There's, There's almost no strategy involved in that game. game. EA Sports True. FC 24. <laughs> I'm glad I want that. Forza Motorsport. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbo Charge. And the Crew Motorfest. And this year the game award goes to. Forza Motorsport, congratulations, turn 10. The nominees for best multiplayer this year are Baldur's Gate 3, Diablo 4, Party Animals, Street Fighter 6, Is that really the best Mario multiplayer games of the year? And the game award goes to... It's been a slow year. Baldur's yeah, Gate no, Street Fighter 6 and Wonder are up there. Having a pretty good night. Here are the nominees for our BG3 Player's was Voice Award, 100% voted by the fans. From my friends, from, from my friends that have played it, it's the best way to Cyberpunk experience it. Cyberpunk 2077, oh, Phantom Liberty, I think Liberty, Zelda's gonna take this Genshin one. Impact, Marvel mm, Spider-Man yeah, 2, it feels like Genshin and The Legend Impact. of Zelda, I th I Tears of the Kingdom. Awesome. Spider -Man. And the Game Award goes to... No. Baldur's Gate okay. okay. Another point uh, Baldur's for winning Game of the Year. Congratulations, Larry. It's, it's telling. It's telling. Baldur's Gate 3 won every category it's nominated in. Not everyone, but a lot of them. From Google and Samsung. Oh, isn't Alan Wake? Alan Wake 2 beat it in the narrative. A narrative. That's right. Yeah. Dude, I can play Clash of Clans like with the bigger screen, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can play it on the dome. That 3D effect oh, always impresses me. Indy, I think you. Indy says, and uh, oh yeah, and they rush through all of those all those awards just 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 to skip yeah, the Yeah, basically. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly it. Be happy yeah. some game creators get to go up there and say a speech. <laughs> yeah. So, Andre, did you see that new dome in Las Vegas when you were there? Yeah, uh, yeah. I actually, my hotel room actually had a view of the dome, which is cool. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so massive? I wake up to like an like... eyeball looking at me. It's it is pretty. It is big. I mean, it's not as big as the other buildings nearby, but like you know, for what it is, a giant round screen. It's massive. It's like I think it's like 300 feet tall or something. 200 feet. Tall. I think it's 300 feet wow. tall. So, yeah, it's big. But I didn't get close enough to really appreciate it. So, get the get a try of character time. Crazy that Guilty Gear is 25 years old, if I read that right. Oh, nope. Okay, just an ad for it. I thought they were going to show the... Oh, maybe they are. Yep. Yep. Next character for Guilty Gear. That's fair. That looks nothing like Daredevil from Marvel. <laughs> Daredevil. 
Not only did this leak earlier today, even Harada tweeted the announcement already. Wow. <laughs> like this afternoon, it was kind of funny. Like, congratulations, like, oh wait. So how are we feeling on uh, the, the game of the year right now? What what are we thinking? What? Which I, still feel confident, I still feel confident Baldur's Gate is the one taking it. We know which one I want to take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely tears for you. How about you, Tom? How are you feeling? Um, it's tough. Like I always thought, Alan Wake Two is kind of like a dark horse to potentially win it. Um, it could still happen because it, it yeah. hasn't been in conflict much with Baldur's Gate in the categories yet. So there's still a chance, True. right? There is. I just think oh, it's tough. Like it's just about how many people actually played Baldur's Gate Three. Yeah, uh, probably point. more so, than Alan Wake. Yeah. I would, I would be, you know, it'd be nice if Nintendo won it for Tears of the Kingdom, like, sure, like, but it's, it's tough. It's tough to say. Yeah. You guys say Baldur's Gate 3, I will change my choice to Alan Wake 2. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm confident it's one of those three. I'll be shocked if it's not one of those three. Yeah, Resident yeah. Evil 4, and it's like, Capcom guys <laughs> like, finally! <laughs> Finally, I've the whole reason why they did the remake for 2004. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Play now or else. Oh. All right, Timothy Chalamet has the game awards. Here. We still got some awards to hand out. Timothy there Chalamet will there be here go. to help, and we have some more okay. world premieres, including this one. This one. PlayStation and Square Enix. They never collaborate. Creative business. <laughs> Tell me about the name. Creative, creative business. Final Fantasy. <laughs> I love That's that. Probably Final Fantasy. It's probably Final Fantasy six. Yeah, sixteen DLC. Yeah. Some sort of crystal. Enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which <laughs> icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitek War. I forgot this game is getting DLC. Somebody's it makes sense that so we get shown off here. Yeah. Right. The question is. Hello. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. Then we better cut this short. Welcome, my friends, to Mysidia. I liked Final Fantasy 16, but it didn't leave like a huge impression on me when I beat it. I don't know how to explain it. I felt like it could have been more RPG-ish, okay, if that makes sense. Have. Right. One of them's out, and the other one comes later. Experience new adventures before the final battle in Final Fantasy 16 with Echoes of the Fallen, which is out tonight wow. on PlayStation 5. There's a shadow drop for you. Shadow drops are present our next award, hype. Best Game Direction. Please welcome one of our industry's greatest creative forces, the creator of Call of Duty and Global GM for Star Wars Jedi, Battlefield, Titanfall, and Apex Legends, Vince Sampella. The inflection in his voice was painful. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Good evening, everyone. So game design can be chaos. Yes. Actually, let me rephrase that. The best game design is almost always part chaos, right? Uh, today, yes. it's really normal for teams of hundreds to work for years on huge open worlds that are condensed into one package. When that chaos has somehow been harnessed into a cohesive artistic expression, that's great game design. So tonight, I'm proud to present the nominees for Best Game Direction. Best Game Direction. How do you run from a story that lives in your head? Together, we must survive. It's gonna be Alan Wake 2 or Baldur's Gate 3. I was thinking that. I feel like Alan Wake 2 has like a more cohesive vision and direction, like what it appears. Yeah. Amazing. 
amazing. And the winner is oh, Alan Wake 2. Okay. There you go, Tom. Alan yeah. Wake might take it in the end. I feel bad for Larian guy if Fall of Day 3 doesn't have anything up there. I mean, other than the huge success the game has had. Uh, oh, I just noticed the security, by the way, they have now with yeah. the, the rope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they have a, you can see a guy what's there. The stops, what's to stop Thank someone you. from jumping over uh, that rope, yeah, though, not much. and making a Bill Clinton joke? Epic. The Hector time to do that would have been during the uh, believing in our Alan vision. Wake 2 song. Uh, That's true. Crazy vision. <laughs> Crazy vision, yes. Direction is nothing without a team to actually build it. And, and huge thanks to Remedy team for joining us on this venture, wanting to believe, believing it and, and, and build it. Uh, you know, we can pull into different directions and, and nothing comes out of it. But when more than 100 people uh, believe in the same vision and, and build something out of it. We can make miracles. We can make art, and we can be more than the sum of our parts. Uh, our world today could use a bit more of that. That's a nice one. Uh, one other thing. Uh, next Monday, December 11th, uh, New Game Plus, the final draft is going to be coming out. <laughs> New story content. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's what I needed to hear. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Game Awards. New Award. story content. Vince, come back. Announce Titanfall three. <laughs> rude. Jeff is rude. He's just like Titanfall. Please wait, welcome wait. Gustav Tillaby, the creative director of go. the He's final. played games years in advance, Joey. I don't know. we started building this game, we set a bold vision for ourselves. We said that if we're gonna make a shooter, it needs to be unique. It needs to be something that no one else is doing. Standing here today, I'm so proud and grateful for the amazing team at Embark Studios who helped make this crazy dream a reality. And of course, to all of you, our amazing players, watching you play the finals has been the most gratifying experience of my entire career you're not just a part of this journey, you guide us and you inspire us, and I love you for that. Now, let's watch our latest trailer and keep your eyes peeled for the launch date at the very end. It might be sooner than you think. I like how he says that like it'd be easy to miss. Enjoy. Right. Watch, it's gonna take up the entire screen. <laughs> keep your eyes peeled. Not that peeled, you won't be able to see it. Well, this is chaotic. I think they had an alpha or beta for this, and it was people have been saying it's really good. Let's check it out. It does have a grappling hook. Fair. You know it doesn't have a grappling hook? Tears of the Kingdom. Just exploded into gold coins, bro. Yep. Hate it when that happens. That's how you get the all ages rating. <laughs> yeah. Game is ready to eat for everyone. Well, yeah, there's uh, IPs for the release date. It says play now. That's right. Yep. The finals is out tonight on Steam, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. 
after the show. Make sure to check out the Game Awards in Fortnite as well. All month, fans have been voting for their favorite user-created island of the year, and the winner is Fort Who. Congratulations. You can portal to the winning island from our TGA map, and while you're there, collect all the TGA trophies for an XP boost. We want to help you unlock those Peter Griffin skins. The island code is below. Still to come, the presentation of Game of the Year, featuring our, our orchestral salute Finally. to the nominees. We're nearly there. <laughs> yeah, it's been okay. almost there. A long the end is in sight. I guess that makes sense, wrapping up at the three hour mark. Yeah. Yeah, I was getting worried. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I gotta tell you, I'm usually more positive on these shows. This one's a snooze fest. Yeah. The I beginning. The beginning up until the Sega announcement. That, First like, half a lot of, of indie games longer. and Sega. That's true. Sega was a highlight for me. And even yeah, that same. for games that are in the distant future. World of Goose was, was a surprise. Oh yeah, World of Goose. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there's a handful of games I remember liking, but I can't remember much about them. With everything else surrounding it. <laughs> Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. Now, are we going to get an ad like that for each of the Game of the Year nominees? Yeah, right. BP, so Sega showed off like five upcoming games, including Crazy Taxi, Just Said Radio, what, Streets of Rage. Golden Axe and Shinobi. Yeah, and yep. they look amazing based on the snippets we saw. Like really fully updated graphics. Like I, I, I'd have to go back. I don't know if they were remakes or like full sequels. I think, they're, I think they're all new games. Very yeah. cool. I would say Jet Set Radio and Crazy Taxi are looking the best out of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, zero Nintendo announcements so far. Uh, Bikini? Bikini? All night Bikini? you've been voting on Twitch for which mobile game you're hyped for in 2024. After the show, check out the TGA Post Show on oh, Twitch. Oh, did we say Golden Axe? That was one of them, too. Of yeah, I see Golden Axe. Yeah. People get hyped for awesome. mobile games? Thanks, Sydney. Well... Now it's Sonic time Dream. for tonight's final okay, world premiere. It's finally premiere. time. Final That's world right, premiere. Towards the end of the show, and this one... Metroid Prime 4, I baby. Let's speak. Let's do it. For itself. Metroid Prime 4. Nope. There was no Switch <laughs> logo. Yeah. That's telling. The Switch 2, that's, that's why, Triss. Wait a minute. This is Monster Hunter. Oh. Yeah. It's a this Capcom is Monster game. Hunter. I, I, reckon, I recognize some of those little guys. Yeah. Monster Hunter later. <laughs> Monster Hunter later. <laughs> I think it is at least. This is like this weird bird dog thing. That reminded me of the stampede scene from Lion King. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of cool looking. I don't know what's going on, but. Yeah. This really is a weird bird dog thing. <laughs> I think it's Monster Hunter. It's Cap it's Monster yeah. Hunter. Yep. Called it. Monster Hunter Wilds. Wild. Breath of the Wilds. <laughs> Can't wait for the one after this, Monster Hunter Tears. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, yeah, there there's Arathalus, of course. Can't show off Monster Hunter and not show Rathalos. That's how people know. It's That's a long time. That Let a... them cook. Let no them cook. Nintendo oh. console. Uh, oh, not yet. you're right. Yeah, true. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage Monster Hunter series producer Ryozo Tujimoto. It's so great to have you here at the Game Awards. We got to hang out in Osaka earlier this fall where you showed me the gameplay. You gave me a demo of the game. And wow, I got to tell you guys, it looks incredible. Everyone wants to know, we saw 2025. Uh, when do we get to play this? Hi, eh, to you, えー、えー、Thank you, Jeff. I'm very happy to finally be able to 
announce this title to everyone. Uh, this title, back in September, we were happy enough to show it to you, uh, is planned for release in 2025. Wow. Uh, I think everyone wants to know when do they get to see more on this? Any sense of when we're going to see more on this game? はい、えー、こちらのタイトルの続,続報はですね、えー、2024年の夏ごろ、えー、現状予定しておりますので、えー、しばらくちょっとお待ちいただけたと思っております、えー、それとですね、えー、今年、えー、カプコンがですね、40周年を迎えさせていただきました、えー、この40年間、えー、応援してくださった、えー、ファンの皆様本当にありがとうございます、えー、これからもですね、えー、皆様に楽しんでいただけるいいゲームを作っていけるよう努力して頑張ってまいりますのでこれからも引き続きぜひよろしくお願いいたします。We plan on revealing more information about this game in、uh, the summer of 2024, so we hope you keep an eye out for it. Also, Capcom is currently celebrating its 40th anniversary.、Yep. I would like to thank、wow. all of the Capcom fans for all of your love and support throughout all of these years. We couldn't have done it without you. Capcom will continue to create exciting Fun games,、uh, and the best is yet to come. Street Fighter、Excellent. 1 Remastered. Thank you, Real. Thank you. <laughs> Great to see you. All right. Do it. Well, now to present Game of the Year from the upcoming films Wonka and Dune Part 2, please welcome YouTuber Modded Controller 360. <laughs> That's pretty bold. Wow. That is great. That's funny. The、uh, imagination, passion, and technical brilliance of the six nominees for the game of the year were truly inspiring. Here, with a medley celebrating each of these games, once again, Lauren Balf and the Game Awards Orchestra. The Mario Wonder Biscuit is out so weird in the middle of this. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's a prom plant song. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope the Zelda bit is that, that bit from the last trailer. The saxophone. Yeah. Oh, God. I hope Jack Black plays the saxophone. <laughs> we should, we should, be, we should have like, random peaches, peaches, peaches during this. Yeah. Keep an eye out for Flute Guy. Jazz Flute. There he is! Yeah! We got Flute Guy, we're good.、Nice. I, got, I didn't recognize what they were playing for Alan Wake 2. I did not recognize that track at all. Lots of kissing. So much kissing. Wonder. Here it is. I can almost barely recognize the Triss with how he had him merge it into the rest. Yeah. I like barely, barely made out like that athletic theme. Yep.、Yeah. It was a stretch, you might say,、uh, for the athletic theme. Maybe they weren't warmed up. Says blue, blue guy going crazy. Yep. Looks like blue guy's got an oboe. Man, this, this still really is such a stats lineup for Game of the Year. These are all、yeah. incredible games. Very spoiled this year for games. Jeff Keighley tweeted, OMG, flute guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good.
<laughs> I love that Chad is blowing up about Food Guy. It's hilarious. Chad's Game of the year. Kept, Chad's saying he kept changing instruments. Wow. Yeah. Oh my wow. god. Impressive. And the Game of the Year goes to Food Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Deserved, honestly. And the game of the year is Baldur's Gate 3. There it, it is. I knew there it. There it is. Easy. There he is in the suit of armor. Yeah. Like the very Thank first uh, YouTube video they did <laughs> where he's trying to get funding. It's like, a, it's like I've never had to pee so bad in my life. <laughs> How much of a moment this game has had all year? Well deserved. My Very entire well deserved. Twitter feed is just dominated by Baldur's Gate 3 for a while. Um, for longer than I all these other ones. Anymore. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a game like Baldur's Gate 3 isn't possible if you don't have an incredible team working on it. And the team at Larian spent their hearts and souls <laughs> for six years uh, on this game in sometimes very difficult circumstances. This was our COVID game. Um, along the way, we, we lost quite a few people also. So we want to dedicate this uh, to all the people we lost, and especially uh, to Jim, our lead cinematic uh, artist, uh, who passed away uh, in the uh, last month. A month ago, yeah. Um, I want to thank over 2,000 people, so sit back and relax. <laughs> uh, but uh, I also, I uh, want to thank everybody that supported us throughout this entire uh, effort. Uh, our families, our friends, our partners. Uh, you were the best, and without you, we couldn't have done it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, well, congrats to Baldur's Gate 3 for yep. the game of the year. They were one of the few people to actually walk in the right direction with no mishaps. <laughs> he was prepared. He had a suit and everything, man. Congratulations, Sven, and congratulations to all of tonight's winners. We will see you next year at our 10th anniversary Game Awards, which I'm happy to announce. We'll return right here to the Peacock Theater on Thursday, December 12th, 2024. Happy holidays. Wait, they changed the name? Good night. The theater. Thank you for the Super Chat, Clever Longhead. He says, sorry, you guys, I'm going to bed. <laughs> That's understandable, Clever Longhead. He did not say sorry. He said... Oh, screw you guys, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think that's super chat ever. Big difference. Yeah. Big difference. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was definitely a Game Awards show. <laughs> it was the most Game Awards of Game Awards shows. That's uh, that, It was up against a stiff competition. Even stiffer than the Game of the Year competition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, that was... Uh, that was that was just boring. I'm sorry. <laughs> and and I, usually, I, I actually really enjoyed last year's show. But this year's was just like... Mm, yeah, I enjoyed last year's. There was something about this one that I think the be, I think because of the way the world premieres were interwoven with a lot of the ad breaks, uh, the interest levels were kind of all over the place because of it, and it felt like it was paced very weird. It felt like I have to go back and check. It felt like more awards were given in front of the screen and brushed off real quick as opposed to on stage. I could be wrong on the number there, but it. it Definitely feels like there was more of that this year. Yeah, it did, I think. And I think it did, that definitely affected the pacing for the worst, too, which is saying something, considering this show's not known for its uh, <laughs> good pace. Just, just, just a note in chat, guys. Uh, Mario Wonder did get Best Family Game, and yeah. Tears of the Kingdom got... Uh, which was it? Was Action, it Best Adventure? Action, Action Adventure? Action Adventure. Action Adventure, that's what it was. Yeah, they both took an award. Like they, 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 they did not take Best Strategy. Yeah, I'm paying for one, be one best strategy. So Nintendo did get some awards there. They didn't miss out on everything, no. Yeah, I mean, pick I didn't expect Pikmin, Pikmin 4 to pick up anything. So the fact it won this category uh, is actually pretty mm -hmm. impressive. So, but yeah, no, uh, no major Nintendo announcements, which I, you know, which I think a lot of us expected. Um, it's yeah. kind of like a slower yeah. period for Nintendo right now uh, after the onslaught of games earlier. And uh, yeah, and I think for me the highlight was those Sega games. I'm actually excited for yeah, finally finding out about their future <laughs> well seriously yeah let's say that's like super exciting to have a lot of say stuff that's interesting like for me um 
it's only been the like a dragon series really recently there hasn't been as much for say like a sonic around two but to have more of these classic franchises that i love that define sega so much like during the dreamcast era and after great to have them back and i'll say there was a huge amount of indie games kind of leading up to that point at the beginning in the first bit that seemed interesting so that was nice to see and they petered out towards the end though mm-hmm yeah, there were there were a handful of games that I, th- I thought actually did look cool. I don't remember any of their names. I'd have to go back and or see them, you know, when they announce more in the future. But yeah, um, yeah they were just the thing is like the they're just peppered throughout this really kind of like long and boring show where a lot of the other announcements just kind of blend together. Like I, I so many of those games look like I'm like, have I haven't I seen this already? <laughs> haven't you yeah. already shown this? Mm-hmm. Well, that was like some of them. We saw like a cinematic trailer for it, then they cut back to them talking about it, and then they showed ga- a gameplay trailer of. So some of them, yeah, we did just see it quite literally. <laughs> yeah. Peekaverse says, "Can we go now?" Yes, Peekaverse, you're, you're free. <laughs> you're free. You're liberated. You can go now. You don't have to stick no. around. But uh, yeah, any final thoughts before we wrap it up here? So we don't have to keep anyone else I, around too long. I really think, uh, and I'm like th- th- thinking on it more. I really think part of what last year had that this year didn't was uh they really enforced the time a bit more and they didn't bring the developers out as, as much to actually talk about the games as much um they they did do a decent amount of it for like previewing something new but like especially for some of the 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 smaller games i think it would have been nice to get that and they hype up the whole thing with future class i feel like there was like two of the future class that were actually shown off in this yeah but i feel like in in other years there's like one of them every ad break like, which, which was, like, a good to keep engagement and actually get a lot of them to have their say. And part of me wonders if it's because of the... How many of the future class uh, wanted the Game Awards to address uh, current events, let's say. Yeah. And I think that I think that might be why, unfortunately. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is now out on Xbox, so uh, that's an announcement. Would they have held it if they didn't win Game of the Year? That would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> So they did, just didn't announce it at the show. Um, as for people going up there and making speeches, that um, person showed off the game that was kind of dedicated to his late father. I believe that was uh, that yeah. was probably the most moving. Speech. That yeah. that really was. That really was. I just see Sean Murray up there later. Like you see him kind of worried and stuff, announcing his new game. Like you see a bit more of the uh, personal side behind it too. Right. But mm-hmm. more of those moments would be nice. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's it's always nice seeing what the awards mean to the people who who win them. Um, and yeah, there were some there were some touching moments in there. And yeah, none of the speeches actually really dragged. Well, I should rather not none, but the winner speech, speeches in particular didn't really drag on too much either. So they they did curtail that, which was good, even if they were almost maybe a little overly aggressive in a couple instances. But uh, I think by and large that was an improvement. So great, great joke uh, segment though with the presenter. <laughs> that was, that was really good. Last year. That, was that was great. Well, anything else? Next year is the tenth anniversary of this show, so I really hope. That I thought I... this year was. Uh, it was the tenth. So this year is the tenth show, but next year is the tenth anniversary show. That okay. Yeah, That's it's, it's, it it's confusing, but uh, yeah, I hope like I don't know. Step your game up, Jeff. Next year. <laughs> Wait, how's that work? Wait, this was the tenth show. Oh, because so, it's because it's only been nine years, I guess. If you, yeah. So let me let me do the math in my head. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm confused. I don't. Whatever. I, I, we'll see if it's any different or not. Because we will be mm-hmm. we'll be here watching it probably a year from now. <laughs> probably. All right. Well, chat, that's gonna wrap up for us here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you enjoyed that as much as possible. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot for us uh, in terms of Nintendo news, but that's fine. That was kind of expected. Well, uh, not not a lot. Nothing. Yeah, <laughs> on that really front. Nothing. I was <laughs> trying to be generous, but you're right. It was really nothing. But congrats to all the winners. Some strong games, some strong contenders this year. And uh, yeah, it seems like it was a great great year for gamers in general. So well, speaking of which, we'll have more coverage of that soon, I'm sure, with our own Game of the Year announcements or awards along with our game our end of the year wrap up and looking ahead to 2024. So it should be a lot of fun as we approach the end of the year. Everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us and have a good rest of your evening and soon weekend. Bye everyone.